All right. Welcome back to Cogmind. We are on part three of our bot hacking run. Uh, and I don't really remember what we're doing. Let's see. We're in a... Oh, look, there's executioners. Um, so, yeah, I don't really remember all our plans. Maybe chat can remind me uh, once we start getting into this. Let's look at what we've got and what's going on. Um, we have auto-assimilated a couple of plagues, which are going to get blown to pieces in a second because there's rainmakers here. And, well, rainmakers have dual heavy flat cannons. They're just going to annihilate these guys. Plus, there's obviously going to be some more swarmers down here. Um, three rainmakers. We cannot hack rainmakers. We do not have those couplers, which is unfortunate. Let's see. In our inventory, we have a spare power source. We have a bunch of spare wheels. That's good. Going to need those. Probably when things go south, or we're still recovering storage, I guess. We had some problems with storage earlier. Let's see, we've got that one's kind of beat up. There's a really beat up spare one here for absolute emergencies if this one gets destroyed, I guess, or too low. Um, well, we have extra inventory space even. This is an improved hacking suite, according to my tag here. We have a lot of NC couplers, Swarmer, Grunt. Duelist, Hunter, and we have a lot of different types attached, which are allowing us to see a whole bunch of stuff. And, well, we have a core cannon, actually. We could, uh, what if we pulled out a core cannon and used it to destroy the uh, executioners? <laughs> a mag cannon. Let's see what other kind of, we have a lot of weapons, actually, I believe here. We do have a repaired uh, automated gauss and a bunch of other regular weapons here. Ah, uh, we also have the Tesla bomb, right? Oh, maybe we could just Tesla bomb them. Let's see, our current influence, of course, is super low, which is great. Uh, so really, we could actually just use it consider using a Tesla bomb. I guess part of the problem with the Tesla bomb is we, we have super low energy, and these are expensive now, but I did notice we do have. We are carrying around this battery, uh, which would be perfect in combination with our, our uh, compact Tesla bomb launcher here. Reverse that so you can see it. Compact Tesla bomb launcher. Um... We could pull off, swap the heat sink out for a, a power, for some energy, and then use the Tesla bomb on them. Uh, otherwise, it's gonna. We're not in great. We're not in a condition to fight things. We don't have any armor at all, uh, which is pretty bad. So our also our own our only melee weapon is uh, going down. Could try to kill the um, uh, specialists there with the the Gauss. Possibly that would that saved us twice this run already. Like. Oh, pull it back from the brink of death. All right, and it looks like we have an, several extra remote data jacks. Okay, so, and we have a nuke too, but you know, nukes, nukes make things, nukes get messy. Let's try not to nuke things, unless we have to. Um, okay. Mo pretty much all storage and couplers. We're doing a, a riff. Uh, this is, again, this is Beta 9. Um, this is the second Beta 9 pre-release. And if you're a patron, there's actually a third pre-release, which is going to come out right after this stream. Um, or, but no, right after. It's going to be like, I don't know, maybe an hour or two after the stream's over. Uh, there will be a third pre-release, which does some more updates and tweaks and uh, adds some stuff, nerfs some of the riff abilities, actually, <laughs> and fixes some bugs. Um, so this is what we've got so far, which is we've got like a really nice collection of um, especially the... Uh, Alert ID control and program shield. So we now, our allies, we have no allies right now, unfortunately. But if we did, um, our allies can do all our fighting for us. Um, and there aren't any repercussions. So this is like, already we've got the workings of a really good ally build. In fact, that reminds me, I noticed on my Steam thing, we earned some achievements um, last time. I didn't notice I earned your achievements. And let's see, unlocked only newest first... Let's turn on all categories. Beloved. We earned, last time we got the Beloved achievement. Oh, that's right. That's the only new one. Okay, I thought I had more than that. But last time we got acquired 75 allies across an entire run. So this is the true ally build we've got here. Um, 75 allies is quite a lot. And uh, so we've already passed that number so far. That's all we got this run. So, uh, all right. So, yeah. <clears throat> Uh, welcome, chat. Hey, Beeson and uh, Naughty. I guess people... I didn't really announce this, this stream uh, in a bunch of places. I only put up the announcement on Discord, so people will probably just only slowly trickle in. 
uh, cog friend builds. <laughs> yeah, for sure. We got definitely got a. Uh, it's a. It's a, I like the new summoner build. It's it's fun. But again, I did uh, for the third pre-release. I did nerf some stuff. I nerfed the uh, chances on the auto assimilate and the um, auto override. Basically, the two auto hacks uh, have been are going to be yeah not quite as good. Right now, we have a thirty percent. Uh, yeah, that draw is about halved. I pretty much halved all of the percents. There's still so it's still good, especially if you stack couplers. It's still going to be quite good. Um, in some cases, it might be you know it's going to be really good still, but um. Yeah, right now it's a little bit overpowered, which, uh, as I mentioned before, was pretty much the intention with the pre-releases was to set Riff at something that was pretty much going to be overpowered and then nerf it, you know, gradually as we were playing with it and see how it works out. I also fixed the uh, the drone bug, which was a very funny bug, but um, uh, the oversight where you can send out drones and they can do your, your hacking for you. With auto-assimilate, that just becomes kind of insanely powerful, so... Yeah, I'm gonna have, I removed that, so it's only your. You can only do it your own, uh, in your own FOV. Uh, hey, NXG, welcome. This is the start. This is the start of the stream. Yes, this is not the start of the run. We are at the end. Let me recap here. We're in the late game. We have done this so far. We didn't really need to go into uh, the armory, but we did anyway, just for the hell of it. And that's pretty much what got us messed up. We almost lost in the armory. We got really nasty in there. Um, but barely pulled through, uh, uh, fought off a bunch of bots and a behemoth and made it out just barely. And then, uh, but in the end, we managed to more or less rebuild uh, pretty well. Uh, we didn't lose too much inventory either, which was good because losing all your inventory makes it much harder to rebuild, especially in the late game. It's possible. It's not, it's just harder. So anyway, now we're headed into research branches, um, which shouldn't be too much trouble given our build and everything we've got, but then we run into specialists here, which we have no couplers for, and so we're going to have to find a more traditional way to take them out. <laughs> Peer pressure the armory dive. Yeah, that's fine. I took chat's advice on that one, or really just what chat wanted to do. We just went into the armory. Well, sure, why not? Who cares? I right, just fooling around. Having fun. <clears throat> oh, welcome, Core NXT. All right, so all right, so the question is, how are we gonna deal with these rainmakers? They've all spotted us so already. Um, let's see. So yeah, what I did was come down from. I was originally here. We came down here, checked out what was in there. It turned out to be a core cannon. So we just got this core cannon. Uh, where's the core? Yeah, I haven't actually identified it yet by attaching it. I just know what it is because it's the only. It's the only alien energy cannon, that which is two slots. Um, so you can tell what it is if you've gotten it before. So we tagged it there. Um, core cannon is quite powerful, but we don't. It would be overkill here. Uh, plus, actually, you might have trouble running it. I mean, we need to put on the extra energy, and then it'll also be hot. And yeah, anyway, it's not. I'm just carrying it because well, we have inventory space, and uh, yeah, <laughs> we might as well carry around some artifacts just in case. Um, okay, so now serious talk. Let's see, what are these? Ooh, more improved remote data jacks. Huh. Anyway, we have an advanced one, and oh, that would actually be good to get those. That's this would be nice to pick both of these up. We found a product, a remote data jack stash here, a little bit of them. Um, so in order to take, we could, so by pulling back, we're gonna let we'd let these swarmers be on their own. They're gonna die immediately though, because it is gonna take them a moment to uh, start up. Normally, if they were in the open, what I would do right now, we could swap in a, uh, a data jack and boot them up immediately so they could actually get some, maybe get some shots off before they die, but it's not going to happen. So we could pull back into the main corridor, and but that's actually kind of dangerous just because then you could end up with enemies coming through. But there's probably, because you start here and enemies won't spawn too close to the starting position, the only reason they spawned here is because this wall was actually a wall. There's no path through here. That's so enemies are allowed to spawn behind that. So by opening this wall, that pretty much, yeah, caused the, uh, <laughs> caused this problem. Um, but there won't be any enemies around this area either in the short term. So we can uh, pull out and try and fire the Tesla bomb to the south, to, towards the west here. Hey, Jack9. Yeah, Swarmers versus Rainmakers. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a pretty funny situation. So, 
I'm gonna pull back. There they are. Oh, the, they actually survived. The swarm is not. This plague didn't even die. You got pushed back though. You can see that they, they're going for them now. So, uh, it's gonna pull back. Rainmakers are absolutely opening up. Probably gonna just Tesla bomb everything. Oh wow. It just gets worse and worse. <laughs> wow. Um, hmm. This is problematic. <laughs> oh wait. Also, also hostile activity reported. Dispatching reinforcements. What the? Oh, there must be a, a garrison back here. But uh, what? Where? Where? Where are they? Where are the reinforcements coming from? That's odd. Um, maybe it's because of those swarmers we're fighting over there. I haven't even done anything yet. And now we're facing off against... Well, the good thing is... Actually, this might be a good thing. Um, unfortunately, we haven't hacked this play yet. Um, but hey, uh, would, would, do we have we have duelist? I could... I don't want to get chopped up, but anyway. Let's hack some people, right? Uh, yeah, there might have been an operator. There must have been. That's, I guess that's, yeah, that's the operator message. There must have been an operator over here, I guess. I didn't notice it. Um, or there was an operator back here, actually. Like, this terminal this terminal probably didn't have an operator because the game just, this, uh, the map just started. It might have been, but there might be another terminal up there. So, yeah, it was probably an operator back here or over here. All right, so we can hack these duelists. Uh, unfortunately, this is going to take a moment to do. And we're going to get chopped in the meantime. This could be bad. But um, we don't have a lot of other options at this point. I think this will be the safest uh, safest way to handle this. So I'm going to drop, swap out the heatsink for a coupler. Oh, they're still fighting back there. I can't believe the swarmers are still alive. I did hear some deaths, though. I'm pretty sure the swarmers are now both dead. At least one of them's dead. I heard that. All right, so we now have one duelist coupler. I could put on a second one, and maybe we get some auto hacks off on them for free. Because let's see, our auto hack chance is um, thirty percent, which means two couplers, two duelist couplers, would give us a sixty percent chance to just hack them for free, which is really nice. Um, but I don't really want to waste too much time attaching couplers and stuff. So instead, let's replace. I'm just going to hack them manually here. Oh man, I thought that might happen. <laughs> Just chopped off the data jack. Please don't chop off the data jack. Stop chopping off the. Alright, this. All right, so this one, the, these guys are equal. They're both swordsmen. The one to our west just attacked us, so it would make more sense to assimilate the one to the northeast because um, he's got. Uh, it'll come. His turn will come around faster, I guess. Um, we are ready to do this. Oh yeah, I need to switch off cursor now. I'm gonna switch back to keyboard mode. Okay. Sadly, we did not manage to hack this swarmer right next to us. Um, yeah, this was a, an ambush trap, NXG. Um, the ambush traps can be really nasty. Um, like, really, really nasty. They can also be good, actually, um, sometimes. Oh, okay. Well, I missed and hit the swarmer. Um, <laughs> Let's see. Um, so anyway, we're hacking a Swarmer now. Didn't really plan to hack the Swarmer, but that's okay. We're going to overwrite his IFF because that's faster than actually... Uh, um, all right, now we're hacking the Duelist. Anyway. All right, so now the Swarmer's attacking the... The Swarmer's attacking the Duelist here, who's now attacking the Swarmer because... Well, we didn't attack any of these, so we didn't, have a, they're not, we didn't aggro them. So the Swarmer's going to start aggroing. So that's fine. We're now safe, and uh, I rebooted this swordsman who's going to help us in a second. I could reboot him immediately, or before this guy takes too much damage, we could re reboot the doula. I mean, uh, get the doula on our side as well. Oh, and this guy just got hacked too. <laughs> All right, so let's just. I'm just going to get the doula on our side as well. Uh, oh, I don't have enough couplers. So, uh, okay. Hmm. Well, I was going to hack him, but I forgot. We actually, I put on my weakest uh, relay coupler uh, for Duelist. So I should have put on another one. Um, 
didn't think ahead far enough for that. <laughs> we had plenty of uh, plenty of value left on them. Let's see. So we can either sh um, shut them down. I kind of want them on our side though because those rainmakers are. Oh, never mind. Check it out. All right. If you look to the west there, that original um, wall that was open is now been already been repaired by an engineer, which means those rainmakers can't reach this position unless there's another uh, circuitous route. So we actually don't have to worry about the rainmakers. <laughs> there was an engineer nearby. <laughs> Good job, engineer. So we only have to worry about these bots here for the moment. I'd like to make some more friends because, well, at a, with our current situation, more friends is better. But if I now um, don't have a lot of choice now because we messed this up, used the wrong coupler. We only have eight value left, so um, just gonna disable his weapons. Oh, shoot. The Rainmaker is here. Or uh, maybe one made it through before the engineer repaired. Either way, I see balls repaired here, so now we do have to deal with the Rainmaker. Okay. Yeah, the Swarmer coming after us got uh, assimilated, Jack-9. Okay. So this guy is just disabled, but that's not actually going to keep him down for long. Wish we had a specialist coupler. It would be nice to have a rainmaker on our side. All right, we now have two swarmers. Oh, come on! You almost got the rainmaker. They've almost got him dead. I could kill him, or I could let our friends do it. Let's see if our swarmers can take them out. Because then we don't get any alert for it. Why not, right? All right, never mind. I'm going to do this. Or miss. All right, swarmer finished him off. Thank you, swarmer. Okay. Uh, somebody died. <laughs> oh, okay. It was the enemy. Good. <laughs> our friend is back. He chased this, our swordsman, chased down the other swordsman, and, and slashed him to pieces. So there we go. All right, now they're both following. Okay, let's get a move on. All right, now we're safe. Oh, there's another, there's a rainmaker. All right, so they did find a, another route. They went from here north and around, and now they're here already. So that's not good. I guess we got to take care of them first. Oh, they're both here. Gee, that's not good. Ouch, ouch. Getting shot. Oh, yeah, chopped him apart. Okay, I'm going to pull back because... Oh, there's a researcher in here. We have aggroed the uh, other Rainmaker, or at least he's firing at us. So he's going to try and come for us, and uh, our friend will chop him up on his way here. Um, <laughs> all right, so let's... Uh, an, an analyst, I don't want to leave an analyst around here. So, yeah, we could use a teleport. We don't need to teleport out of here. We're going to be fine. We're going to hack, probably hack those hunters. We have more hunter couplers, even. Um, we have one more. Oh, it actually doesn't have a lot. Anyway, those hunters look like they're coming down here. Um, and we're going to hack this dude and shut him up. Or we're going to, we're going to hack him eventually. <laughs> All right, researcher. Um, so we can disable his scanner. Um, so that means this researcher will basically not be a threat anymore. So we can attack in his presence if we have to. Not that we would, but it's just safe. So, yeah, Riff is really good around researchers because researchers are pretty much one of the scariest things in, in, in research branches because they, you don't want to get scanned by a researcher. Really bad things happen when you get scanned. Um, in fact, uh, in Beta 9, uh, the results of a scan have changed. Um, you'll get... Uh, it, does, it used to be... Anyway, I changed it back to what it was meant to be originally. Um, there are different. There are two different depths of research branches. Um, 
right here we go so there's two depths you get those research branches at this depth and then there's even further out it's possible to get to more and the idea is uh originally i meant for it to be that when they scan you here the results are different from when they scan you further out and i had changed it at one point to be that's the same everywhere but now i've changed it back partially because well the main reason is because the results here um rely on a bot that wasn't fully developed um, but now it is so i'm being kind of uh, vague about this because i don't want to spoil it all but um yeah the results are different now in fact I, the results are probably not quite as bad if you get scanned in the the like if we scan, got scanned by this researcher they're still not great but anyway demonstration yeah, i'm not going to demonstrate <laughs> all right so these are all teleporters um i wonder what's happening in the hallway <laughs> So, yeah, we can read about what these things do. Some lore stuff. Learning about slip nodes and teleporters and stuff. There's slip nodes over here and uh, teleporters over here. We can grab a bunch of them now. Um, some of them will be high powered and some will not. All right, there's. Huh. I wonder what's happening up there because these guys aren't he's not fighting yet. What, did our friend die? I would have expected. All right, so we should be able to fire here without any repercussion from the researcher. All right, yeah, the researcher spotted us, but can't actually do anything. Actually, he might call for reinforcements. That's a possibility, huh? I'm just going to ignore it and see what he does. That research is now following us. Okay. <laughs> uh oh. Damn. We're in the doorway. All right. So our friend is still up there fighting away. Uh, I kind of want to hack uh, one of those dudes now. Now I got a researcher in the way. Dude, researcher, out of the way. You're in the way. He's not getting out of the way. All right. I'm gonna go a different way. Go around the corner here. Our friend is still alive. Surprisingly, he's probably not gonna be alive for long. Cause the thing is, he's got a. He's been charging a, he's charging a uh, a rainmaker who can push him back it's like the ultimate anti-duelist um, build still alive though <laughs> the hunters actually don't know we're here yet the rainmaker still does though the rainmaker could tell the hunters if um, if we fight them, but I guess we're not. Uh, let's see, we can grab a slip node. I don't know if we're going to need one, but I don't know. I tend to regret when I don't grab a slip node. Um, I'm just going to mark a bunch of... Whoops. What was I? I'm going to mark these as teleporters because we know what they are. And I should grab at least one slip node. The door is going to open. There it is. I was going to say the door is going to open by somebody and then they're going to be seen. But anyway, yeah, the research is angry and can't do anything about it. <laughs> oh, shoot. All right. So the hunters did spot us now. That's actually kind of bad um, because they can shoot us from where they are now, but we can't shoot or see them. Stupid hunters. All right, I'm going to put on a just a gun because it will block um, shots. Mm, put on the coil gun. Let's see, what is this? R30 armor. That kind of sucks. I need a bigger thing. That's going to... Maybe the one way to pull these hunters into the room would be to go into this little area because the hunters won't shoot machines. So if we pull down here, the hunters will come in and we can hack them. The other option would be to go north and go through the wall and uh, hack them out there. But there's even two more hunters coming. It's kind of crazy. Actually, if we have two hunter couplers uh, attached, when they come into view, we'll have an even higher chance of actually hacking them. All right, I'm going to attach one now. Uh, 
I'm going to go with these both hunter couplers attached um, and then try and auto assimilate them. Maybe, please. Could we get anybody here? All right, they're blocked. Nobody's being auto assimilated. Ugh. Oh, well. We'll have to use a coupler then. Now I wish we could go into the hallway and just try and auto assimilate them as well. I don't know. Relying on auto assimilate too much is probably a bad idea. Oh, shoot. They are perfectly willing to fire through this. Okay. Um, time to open this thing and get the stupid research out of the way. <laughs> uh, if I shoot him, will he go away? No. All right, then. Time to pull out the linear accelerator. No. Oh, that hurt. Crap, I was about to use that. Okay. <laughs> Sheesh. Okay, that was pretty annoying. The range on auto assimilate. Uh, that's uh, the range is like ten, I think, on auto assimilate. Or is it? No, no, no. Right. Sorry. What am I talking about? It's a visual range. That's why when you use a visual, that's why it's really cool to have visual sensors. Um, if you can extend your visual range with auto assimilate, that's what we were talking about earlier. I haven't really done that much at all this game. I think of the very early on we had some, but uh, not not later. So yeah, it's visual range. Okay, so used up one of those. Okay, that's right. We need to put on another armor huge wheel. The wheels are getting kind of beat up now. Good thing I have spares. Pretty nasty entrance to this uh, branch. They've dropped their heavy flat cannon. Probably don't need another slip node, but might we could use it as a makeshift bomb, which is kind of a fun tactic. Might as well pick it up. We've got inventory space, although I'm probably not going to max out on inventory. Just because it'll be tough to carry light antimatter reactor. Oh, we kind of probably should pick up that power source. We have no spare at the moment. All right. Took that dude out. Hey, wait a minute. I want that reactor. There we go. That reactor is in better shape. Grab some matter, we're running low. Okay, uh, we still have a hunter cover. Where'd those other hunters go? I guess they left. There were two in the hallway. Wasn't paying attention to where they went. Okay, uh, we have an extra in, uh, utility slot, which could leave empty for now. We have 4% corruption. That's actually kind of bad. Corruption at this depth is very bad. We only have one advanced, or la we're on our last data jack, but if you recall, there's some to the west, so let's go pick those up. And also, let's hack, I forgot, we should probably hack this. Um, let's hack it for real. It's a manual commands. Let's see, let's do uh, botnet. I don't think we'll need a tracking Trojan, but might as well try. There we go, just to get some more info, more reliable info. And let's put back on the power sword and head back to the west. Our friend is now stuck in the hallway. And there we go. There is a researcher up there. We should probably hack the researcher right now. <laughs> uh, just in case. Researcher is now disabled. It's got no scanner it can scan us with. All right, now we have plenty of spare data jacks. Advanced melee analysis, uh, unknown ballistic. And uh, let's find out what the ballistic cannon is. Let's see, we probably need to drop some crap from inventory. 
we're probably carrying something we don't need, right? Have a lot of teleporters. Uh, let's see, let me get rid of a coil gun. We don't need this many guns, but I would like to find out what this is. Ah, okay. Hypervelocity mass driver. Actually, not a bad cannon, uh, but uh, not going to be useful for our build at all. So, goodbye. Hypervelocity mass, mass driver. All right, uh, locate prototypes. Uh, oh, yeah. I didn't, wasn't even thinking of the other hacks we should be doing. Um, we should probably be doing stuff like that. Uh, let's see, we have eight. What can he tell us here? Uh, Locate prototypes is 10. Wow. Um, I guess we'll have to put on another coupler. Makes sense though. Forfeit the hack, that is fine. Let's put on another one and just do it. We've got lots and lots of spare power here. All right, locate prototypes. Extracted 14 prototype IDs, pinpointed 17 registered prototypes. There's a graviton reactor to the south. We found the matter drive. Ooh, this is a nice hack. Thank you for the reminder. Not bad, Emperor. All right. We have a matter drive, um, a centrium greatsword, core reset matrix. Oh, man, there's definitely something we do not want. You get this, it will destroy our whole build. <laughs> a stasis generator is meh. Stasis generator can be nice if uh, you've got some melee guys after you. Cooled impulse thruster. Phase armor. Phase armor's good, probably. Something we want. Hardened centrium wheel. Only one? <laughs> oh, whoa, we found a Sigix terminator. Of course, it's guarded by Alpha 7s, so I don't know if we want to mess with it. There's a Sigix broadsword, a bunch of Terra bombs. Uh, core stripper, phase redirector, it eh, looks like. All right, we're not in section seven, otherwise we'd be seeing more stuff out there. Huh. Or uh, not the entrance to section seven. Actually, no, that's not true. Never mind. There's no, not going to be any prototypes out there, so. All right, yeah, that's a lot of good stuff. Hardened sentry and wheel, we're going to go straight for that, right? Hardened sentry and wheels are like very good wheels. <laughs> they're, they're, they're wheels that last forever. Armored wheels are good, but hardened sentient wheels are like the armored wheels of the late game. But there's only one, kind of. I mean, I, I assume there's only one. I don't remember. Uh, locate. Uh, there's got to be only one. This might be it. No, no, I don't know. I'm wondering if it only identifies one. I didn't actually read the description for the hack, but if it's going for caches, it'll only identify one uh, part. So there might be a whole cache of them there. Well, let's go grab a graviton reactor. It's not far away. Oh, our friend is stuck behind a wall. We should probably let him in here. <laughs> Come on, dude. Graviton reactor. We can actually... It's not too slot or anything. Okay, it's just... Uh, here we go. All right. Now we got a lot of power. We're powerful. The wheels of life. <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff on this floor. A lot of things to pick from. So another advantage of Rift, we can find out all these uh, cool prototypes and where they are very easily. As long as you got your NC coupler, and we've got plenty of those, more than more than we need. We do need to find an operator. No, we don't. I was going to say lower the alert, but uh, I was thinking about that earlier. We don't need it anymore. Okay. Um. All right, well, we found all the terminals. <laughs> Get some IDs. Enhanced armored medium treads. Ooh. Don't need that, though. Um. <laughs> uh, this terminal is being nice to us. What else can we hack? Uh, oh. Yeah, we're not playing X3 tone hack because X3 saves. I don't think that they're not. Yeah, they're not compatible with X2, the pre-release. So we're not playing. Um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, we're not playing the, uh, the the all the new stuff. I've added been adding new stuff to the pre-release over the last uh, over the last week. There's some really cool stuff I was uh, showing patrons, and but I'm not playing that build because I can't switch over to the new build. 
without um, yeah uh, messing up the save. So uh, I'm not playing that. But everyone else get to play with it later today. Or who's patron? Yeah, it's coming out. But yeah, it'll, it'll, you'll get to see the new hacking stuff. The pro, uh, patrons voted for a new feature from Beta 9, which is updated manual hacking. So it's, uh, it's a pretty cool new system. I'm not actually sure what else to hack here. Um, I'm not much of a hacker. Any suggestions? Ha! <laughs> hey, Desinim. Yes, I, I, welcome. I did nerf Crosswire. Uh, it's it's still good, but it's been nerfed. Index fabricators. What are we gonna build? Uh, you know what? Actually, we do. That's a good idea. We need storage. I would actually want to build storage. Uh, let's find all the fabricators. All right, we're not gonna find the fabricators. That's what we'll do next. All right, we found more terminals. We've got all these terminals. Uh, let's find some more um, fabricators. All right, we are in quarantine. Ah, oh, this, this, we know it's up here, it's uh, Sigix. Uh, all right. Uh, Trojan operators. Oh yeah, that's good. Trojan operators um, would be good. Uh, I have forgot that was a hack. <laughs> need to pick up some more matter. Getting kind of low. Although we have some in our inventory. All right, programmers incoming. Good news is they can't hack our friend. Bad news is we are not in great shape to fight programmers. How am I going to deal with programmers? I wish I had a programmer coupler. <laughs> not that that's easy to acquire. Hmm. What are we going to do against programmers? I wish I had more friends. Micro nuke. Nuke them. Oh, recall extermination. Yes, this is true. We could. We're not a hacker at all, though, and the nearest terminals are far away, so not going to be able to do it. We do have some hackware in inventory, but um, we'd have to make it. Or they're going to reach us before we can reach anything else. Uh, this is a relatively small floor, and they're going to be here soon. We could take them out with the Gauss um, while we're weak. We'll try to anyway. It would be kind of annoying if it breaks down halfway through. But next time it breaks down, we're pretty much going to have to ditch it, I think. It's a, a really nice... Uh, it's been a really nice um, get-out-of-super-dangerous-situation card, though. It saved the run twice already. Alright. We have one hunter. I kind of want to meet him in the open, but... Just gonna wait. Compact wheels. There's a whole bunch of wheels and some unknown storage. Hmm. There's also a repair. Actually, it would be really nice. We should use this repair station here. I'm gonna let out my friend stay right here, real quick, while we come in here and repair something. I'm gonna repair the, uh, the storage unit in our inventory. Yes. And repair. And yes. Okay. We're now repairing. Yeah, our, we have, the one we have attached here is 94. I have another one in inventory, though. I'm repairing that one first. And then we can swap it in and repair the second one if we need to. But, yeah. All right, so let's get out of here before this thing accidentally gets blown up. Those programmers are coming. Once the battle starts, they could destroy your recycling unit. I don't know where they are. Hmm. What else could we do that's nasty? Uh, to programmers. There's no shoots. We can't tell. I'm gonna do that. Hmm. How is my hack percent so good? <laughs> That's a low-level um, repair station, and actually, you don't need much hackware to do repairs, especially if it's a, a low-level part. That was. Um, you know, there's just it's it's not that hard. Uh, the way repair stations were designed is if it's uh, and fabricators is that even without hackware you can do some uh, you can do a lot of stuff at the uh, low level ones. Matter drive. I don't think we really need the matter drive. 
And this is going to be a dead end room, probably. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, check once more. Um, yeah, right, exactly, Destin. And one thing. Here's the point is to get one thing out of fabricators, yeah, if it's low level, at least. All right, here come the programmers, I guess. Yep, there they are. Found ya. All right. Um... I'm actually just thinking of just nuking them. I don't see a lot of other really good options here. And we don't have to worry too much about alert. So I think let's just like nuke them. Uh, actually, I don't want to hit. Uh, I don't want to hit the wall next to me. That would actually suck. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're resistant, uh, but they're not that resistant. Uh, you can check. Uh, can you see them right now? Oh, I can't actually see them. They're only like a little bit resistant. Ooh, our friend actually hit them good there. They're, they've only got 25% resistance. I mean, it's a nuke. <laughs> it does a lot of damage. It's true. It might not kill them, though. Well, it probably won't kill them, but it'll hurt them. <laughs> We don't have a lot of other options uh, here. Even with things that are resistant, you don't have to worry about necessarily necessarily have to worry about it too much. Yeah, the next room has ten investigators. Uh, well, it won't be investigators, but Trojan mechanics to find healer friends. Uh, that's a good idea, Johnson. Let's have to think about that. Mechanics uh, would be nice. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. Okay, this actually could get nasty in a second here. <clears throat> They're going to try and hack our friend, but they can't hack, so... Anyway, now there's three out in the open. Shoot. Can't get him without getting our friend. Stupid recyclers in the way. <laughs> our friend's in the way no matter what. Um, damn it. Our friend is almost dead. Yeah, assassin friend is dead. But the thing is, if I fire this, he's going to kill our friend for sure. And then we're going to be under fire from everyone. Oh, uh, that's right. We could teleport away, too. Hmm. Not that that would necessarily put us in a better situation. But we have a lot of teleporters. <laughs> All right. And 4% corruption. I'm going to pull back. All right. We got our new storage unit. Uh, I'm going to uh, Destinum says he would not teleport. You think it's a waste? Jack9 says not teleport. There's three programmers. We have no defenses. We will immediately lose all of them and they won't chase us down. Um, they'll lose us. I don't I think we should because we have a lot of teleporters. There's no really point in keep I don't even want to keep this many in inventory. I'm just gonna throw them away eventually. They'll find me? Uh, how would they find me? They mean, they'd have to find me with luck. They have dev hacks too. <laughs> They'll lose us if we teleport. But we have four. I didn't even really need four. I'm gonna, I think I should just teleport. It just, I wanna do it just for fun. I'm gonna teleport. All right, let's do this. Boom, we're gone. Oh, look, it's a new friend. All right, so they lost us. They're way over there now. Uh, sure, they might find us later, but not now. Also, uh, we're closer to the wheels, right? <laughs> oh, I didn't actually know which teleporter it was. Um, that was apparently... Uh, oh, that, that was the uh, regular one. It's not the high-powered one. Which means the others are all high-powered. That was the low-powered one. So the remaining teleporters in our inventory here are high-powered. Oh, thank you, NXG, for becoming a patron. Yes, you have immediate access to Beta 9, which is still not complete. There's a lot to do on it, but it's stable. As you can tell, I'm playing it. <laughs> still lots more to do, but yeah, you can, you might not want to, you might want to wait for, I don't know, a few hours to start a new run just because the new, newest version will be out, but. Anyway, um, yeah, some of the tele the way teleporters work is they don't have an exact range. They have a you know a range of a range. So like we could have teleported from there to just around here or as far as here. It's they vary as how far it'll take you. 
<laughs> oh, crashed on a repair station. That was fixed. Yeah, bad emperor. That was the that was the first run, right? Exactly. That's the problem with the the pre-releases that aren't fully tested yet. But so far, that's really been the first release was the the first pre-release was the the kind of bumpy one. There were a couple crashes in there I had to fix. But since then, it's been good going. All right. Um, okay, there's now an analyst right next to us. I think we should probably um, shut him down before we continue on. Uh, Alrighty, got NC coupler. Gonna disable your scanner, and then I'm gonna check the room to the west. There's probably nothing in there, but let's see. Phase shifter, regular phase shifter. This sucks. I wonder, should we grab a core stripper? I'm wondering how many of these things we should grab. I haven't actually decided. Don't have to worry about the programmers anymore, which is nice. Uh, what are you referring to, Jack9? Don't waste what? All right. Let's put on a tracking Trojan, and that will allow us to avoid the programmers. Now, I, I know we want that. Let's see. Our alert is still low. I'm not going to bother purging threat. Let's do... I want to do a track. There we go. Now we can tell when the programmers are coming here. And let's see. What else do we need to do? Um, someone mentioned we could do the operators, but... Um, all right. Now that's active. Um, could put another botnet out. We have botnets out all over the place now. <laughs> oh, the NC coupler? Oh, we have a bunch of them. Uh, I'm using it because we have literally, right now we have 120, over 120. We have like 130 NC coupler value. It's a ton. Uh, we're going to get more. <laughs> um, so don't worry about that. I would, yeah, I would might maybe save it if we were kind of wondering, you know, if there's something bad could happen and I only had one left, but we've got so many of them. Once, the thing is, I don't think it makes a lot of sense to hoard relay couplers um, because if you're if you're doing a, a bot hacking run with a kind of a dedicated bot hacking uh, route through garrisons, because you just keep getting more and more of them, you can fill a practically unlimited amount of inventory space with them. Uh, traps locate. Yeah, that's a good one, actually, especially when you have allies. We do that on the next one. All right, so now we see the operators. We're headed towards the wheel. <laughs> the wheel. And let's see. Sentry wheel. One sentry wheel. Oh, we're, we're on our last sentry coupler, which only has seven value, which is kind of sad. Um, I kind of wish we could do more with this sentry up here, but I guess we should probably just try to avoid them. Oh, hey, thanks, Destin. I mean, you just have to read the uh, read the posts. Uh, <laughs> when you become a look at the, read the posts and they describe things that I've been doing. You can read all the other stuff I've been doing too because I've been writing about, um, yeah, read the, I've been posting pretty much every week, uh, one or two, once or twice at least to Patreon. There's all kinds of stuff. Um, bam. So I guess I want to head northeast. I'm just going for the, the wheel. I'm going to pick up the wheel, the phase armor. We could grab a core stripper. Um, this is going to have an Alpha 7 next to it, which I don't want to mess with. We don't have a lot of allies at the moment. And then I guess we need to, and let's see. Phase armor. Yeah, it'd be nice to get some armor. Mm, phase armor. Just get the ST. Yeah, uh, we don't need it. Uh, what am I going to use it for? <laughs> yeah, the Sig Exterminator. I'm going to be changing stuff about that soon. I don't want to. Yeah, don't wake up. The, it's true. You could get it without waking them up. Um, actually, that's that is what the matter drive. The matter drive here could be used to go in through the back way. Matter drive is really good because it allows you to go through anything. <laughs> um, all 
I mainly came here for just the hell of it. That's true. If it wakes up, it can teleport. That's right. Um, yeah, Destiny, I'm, I'm going to nerf that cheese. Uh, it's already being nerfed. I mean, there's been we've been planning to do it for a while, but I'm actually going to do it for Beta 9. There will be the Sid's Exterminator cheese will be uncheesed. It'll um, it'll still be useful. It's, I'm not, this Terminator itself will be awesome, but I mean how people use it. That sentry is awfully close. Anybody can't see us right now, just barely. <laughs> All right. Oh, look at that. Locate traps. What? Okay, we got four ambush traps. Man, whoa, that's nasty. <laughs> we're, we're surrounded by ambush traps. Um, dang. I mean, it could be friends. You never know. <laughs> no, it'll be cool, Destiny. It'll actually, uh, it'll actually be cool. Don't worry. Yeah, quest locate traps. Anyway, no, I'm not going to go into details about the changes uh, here, but uh, uh, people, uh, it's interesting results. Uh, there's Grunt to the North. Why is there only one Grunt? It must be following a hauler. I was going to say, there's not even a squad. Uh, let's see. We're, all right, we're actually kind of... All right, I guess we're okay. I'm going to say we're running low on matter. All right, these programmers are coming this way. We are leaving. Whoa, they're moving pretty quick. Or I guess we're moving pretty slow. Cryo cooling duct. Mm, no, Johnson, uh, everything works with the... Uh, you can replicate anything in the game. Including the Terminator. And I'm not changing that. I'll be changing something else. <laughs> There will be changes. We discussed it in uh, the redacted uh, uh, channel on Discord uh, a while back. Oh, there were a lot of possibilities. Um, mm, this is going to be a hard place to hack, so I'm going to try some direct hacks instead. All right, we got the zone layout. Ah, there's the garrison. We found the garrison. It's right here. Hmm. Because I actually think we, we want to go into the garrison. Because uh, we're looking for more riff abilities and we need more couplers, right? Um, actually, the other thing we need is... Uh, it's because we left the repair station. I was going to say we need the... Um, uh, I need to repair this other storage unit. I grabbed the other one here. Um, I do have it in inventory. I just haven't put it on yet. But we should probably replace repair this one before long. We could replace it now. So this will be our exit point, I believe. We're going to go through that garrison. And yeah, maybe we'll just go ahead and grab the Terminator. All right, so the idea is to go up here and get these things. We're going to have to pass by a garrison, though, which I don't really like that idea. <laughs> oh, no mechanic in sight. That's true. A mechanic would help us repair our storage unit and our armored wheel. Actually, that's a good point. The thing is, mechanics aren't very common. Um, they're good. You'll find the mechanics only either accompanying assaults or around a repair station. Um, so we've only seen one repair station so far. I don't know where... Uh, any others are. Maybe we could find one.
There's a scanalyzer. We don't need a scanalyzer. Oh, come some hunters. I'm looking down here mainly just to see if we can find anything else useful, like the machines you're looking for. Or... All right, nothing down here. Oh shoot, and then now they're coming in here. They're leaving, good. Oh no, what are they doing? Okay, yeah, they're leaving. <laughs> oh, hidden door. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's right. You can do Trojan mechanics too. I probably should have done that on the re on the uh, repair station earlier. I wasn't thinking about it much. Um, that's a good point, Tone. Yeah, mechanics are really good for repairing your storage units because they storage units don't get damaged so much. Uh, very true. Okay, there's an I. Actually, let's use a let's do an NC coupler on this dude. Tell us something. Let's do a map route. Oh, it didn't tell us much. Found an exit. We don't need an exit, though. <laughs> didn't tell us much. Oh, well. Let's not use a micro-nuke. Fortunately, we still only have 4% corruption. Hmm, core stripper. I mean, we have space, we could pick it up. <laughs> There's a garrison out there. All right, finally found some other grunts. We're going to pass by the garrison, I guess. Actually, we could just... No, I was going to say we could seal it, but I don't want to seal it because we want to go into it. <laughs> Strip the big boy. Which big boy? <laughs> We don't have any armor right now, so going up trying to strip anything would be, like, really dangerous. Plus, let's see, what does this do? It costs 300 energy, and it only will uh, split on 33%. So, let's see. Uh, we have a graviton reactor, which really helps. So, a graviton reactor plus our spare power, which we're still carrying around. It's pretty hot, though. Hmm. And it has plus 100 delay. So split the alpha. That's what I was thinking about it, but... Eh, it seems kind of dangerous. All right, we found the garrison. Yes, garrison discovered. Ooh, excellent. Of course, there's a door next to the wall. There's a the nano nano actuators. This is an enhanced force lance, which we can finally replace our power sword with. Particle reactor. Nano actuators? Oh, with what? Because we can use that with the core stripper. I don't think that's really going to help a lot. <laughs> we could. Um, core stripper plus nano actuators. It's true, it will help a lot, but we'll still only get two hits. And if either of those hits fails, we might have to wait a while um, before we can. We'll have to wait. We will have to wait a while before we can actually attack again. And we still don't have armor. Obviously, I'm going to pick up this armor to the north. We're getting there. Um, I'm just going to unlock this. Damn it, I wanted to go north through here because I want that wheel. How do we get out of here? Going to have to go around the other way. Okay, they are just around the corner there. What are they doing? They're just sitting there. Are they guarding something? That seems weird. They're just... Oh! Never mind. I know what that is. It's it's just a little uh, mini garrison thing there. An outpost. There's guards, basically. They're just sitting there. What are you knowing about, Johnson? <laughs> All right. They're just sitting there. So let's see. I only have seven grunt. I have, that's right. I have more. I can attach another grunt coupler. Actually, let's get some friends. Uh, kind of need some friends. And we can use maybe auto hack them. Hmm. 
uh, process it. You can already do that, Cornex. Uh, you can use um, utility shielding. I mean, uh, which uh, protects your processors. All right, I'm attaching a second. I'm going to pull off the force lance and put on a flat cannon specifically to take hits because we don't have much armor. So, yeah, Corn XD was asking about uh, have I ever thought of something like a processor block that will allow the player to hold multiple processors and keep them safe within it. Um, I mean, uh, part of the problem with that is just uh, the, the interface issues. Um, you know, you, how to deal with that on the interface becomes a problem. But uh, we t also technically we already have utility shielding, which does that. So, yeah, NXG, the uh, patrons uh, can get the Steam build for Beta 9. You just got to read the posts, it's out there. Um, yeah, good utility shielding uh, absorbs. Um, pretty much all the damage, though, or most of it. So you just need better stuff. All right, I'm going to try to auto-hack these guys. And if it fails, I'm just going to hack them regularly. And I wonder if I should stop using the advanced remote data control. I can use a regular one. Just save the advanced just in case. Or just, nah, just going to use it. <laughs> all right. So, oh, shoot. There's an ARC coming. It hasn't spotted us yet. It's going to spot us in two seconds here. Oh, no, it's programmers. Or a programmer. Okay, never mind. Go, my grunts. <laughs> Kill that programmer. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I want to fire two now. <laughs> I want to fire the flat cannon, but I can't do it from here. Oh, shoot. Somebody just got annihilated. Yes. Okay, we got him. <laughs> Perfect timing. ARC shows up and our veterans take him out. All right. And he also dropped some matter for us. That was very nice of you, veteran. Yeah, I flacked him. <laughs> All right. See you, Corinne, next team. More data jacks. Oh, how, how, what did they drop? How good is it? Oh, they dropped an advanced one. Yes, it's exactly what I want. A better one. Advanced is nice. Um, even got the salvage. All right, and let's see. We're uh, the phase. All oh, right, we're almost to the wheel on the phase armor, and we've got one friend who is doing what? He's following us. Okay, he's just waiting because did he lose? No, I was gonna say he loses legs or something. It's always annoying when that happens. Oh, hello there. Let's um deal with you. All right, so this is phase armor, a two-slot artifact. It costs 10 energy. We don't have to keep it on, but while active, 50% of damage to this part is instead passed along to the core. Um, so it allows your armor to last even longer. Not, as a, that not, uh, not that I necessarily want to take a bunch of core damage for it, but so in a lot of builds you do, um, it's, it's a pretty valuable ability. Because look at the coverage on this thing, 1,200. This will basically block everything. So... Yeah, poor, uh, Desinim calls it the poor man's IR. Yeah, pretty much. Um, so we do want this, um, but it's going to be a little hard to use in the short term. Let's see. Mainly because we have so many couplers attached. <laughs> Uh, let's see, plus I don't have space in the inventory. We are still carrying a core cannon. I don't think we want to keep the core cannon. Um, I mean, we might as well keep the stripper and get rid of this core cannon. Any opinions on that? Because that's my idea. And pick up the uh, phase armor here. I don't think we need a core cannon. 
Uh, sure, we could rip off a Swarm Coupler. I'm, I don't need all the couplers we have attached. I'm just keeping them attached because it's nice to have the double up for uh, assimilation. We can easily make room for it among our couplers. Um, I mean, obviously, we have low value ones as well. Um, it's kind of nice. I think with the new strategy of having more couplers allowing you to do extra stuff, um, you know, doubling up, tripling up, you might, you know, it makes plus also the um, the the detection, robot detection ability. But with lower value couplers, not only do we get robot detection, but then, for example, like just now, I, we spotted some grunts, so I attached a second grunt coupler because we had already a low value one, and it's still valuable to have both of them attached. Anyway, I don't think at the moment we're running into problems. Is our friend going to take care of that thing eventually? All right, he finally got the researcher. It is really literally just a single hardened sentry wheel. Oh, well. <laughs> Better than nothing, right? All right, I'm going to drop this my armor leg. I was carrying around a leg just in case. Um, so we don't need that anymore. We now have a hardened centrium wheel. These are good because they have a ton of integrity. But uh, they're basically just an upgrade to the armored wheels. Lots and lots of integrity without too much coverage. Oh yeah, also the best wheel support. True. I don't even think you don't even think much about support. I mean, what armored wheels support twelve, um, whereas hardened centrium gives us uh, twenty. Uh, right now we're already moving at one twenty-five. Overweight three, so it might drop us to overweight two. I don't know. We get a little faster with it. I'm not even putting it on just yet. Uh, well, I don't know. Maybe it should. Nah. All right. There's one terminal over there. We still need. Got the armor. Okay, we can just go see if we can grab the Terminator. And, um... Also, we need to find a repair station. We could maybe, actually, maybe we should go find a repair station. Nah, I'm just going to head over here. Going to try and go through the wall. Nope, not happening. This one might be happening. Sigix Terminator. Oh, hi there. <laughs> Wrong direction. <laughs> uh, let's think. Hello there, Mr. Alpha 7, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's right. We do have, we can strip his core, right? We're going to try and strip his core. Uh, I'm not ready to strip the core at the moment. Yeah, I want to strip his core, but I think uh, I might need to back up first and re-spec real quick. I want to put on some armor and the core stripper and some other stuff. <laughs> Doing it right now seems like a bad idea. It's going to rip us to pieces. There, I could pull back here, and he's gonna destroy our friend while we get ready. Okay. Um, yeah, Grunt's gonna deal with him for a few turns, or maybe just one more turn <laughs> before he gets annihilated, and then we're gonna strip this guy. Okay, so now we're gonna have to take off some stuff. Pull off the Grunt Coupler. We probably can pull off the Demolisher Coupler. I don't, I've, I'll probably regret it later, but um, you know it's one of the, least, the less common things to run into. Um, so I'm going to get rid of Demolisher Coupler. I've got two slots free now. I think we're going to need three slots, though, because I want to put on armor. Oh, we also need nano actuators. I mean, uh, it's kind of problematic. We sort of need four slots. <laughs> Uh, no, the items just randomly drop tone. It's not going to avoid, like, a, 
uh, a dugout tile. It's just gonna it just rolls off when you drop a part to wherever. Uh, yeah, and so let's see what else we're gonna pull off. I could pull off another swarmer coupler. I have one more spare in inventory. Uh, nano actuators, right? Um, all right, a friend is dead. <laughs> all right, now we have three slots. We could pull off an NC coupler as well. We kind of need four slots. I mean, ideally, we would have four slots. I need to probably attach the armor now before it get annihilated. All right, we now have phase armor. And okay, and so yeah, we can put on the nano actuators. We're gonna probably need the power though, otherwise we can't attack enough, which would require another slot. Actually, maybe we didn't need armor so much because the stripper itself will take the damage. All right, we have a core stripper. Here's the Alpha 7. He's now in visual range here. Here's our core stripper. <clears throat> so this is a pretty insane weapon. We can only f hit once with it though. I really think we need to attach a battery. It's either, I mean, honestly, I think the battery is more important than the nano actuators. I don't know. It'll, nano actuators save us an entire turn when attacking. Um, but the battery will allow us to attack twice. Drop the battery on the ground. Oh yeah, we could, wait. I guess we'll pull off. Okay, all right. I'll pack up one space, put on the nano actuators, and yeah, we could drop the battery on the ground because we're not going to need to move during this fight. Um, and we can draw the power from the ground. All right, we're ready to fight him. Come around the corner, dude. There he is. All right, that didn't get him. We extracted the energy. We're back to full energy. Three forty. Coverage is good. Oh my god, it's a giant pile of parts. <laughs> All right, so the Alpha 7's dead. That's nice. <laughs> yes, the phase armor is, uh, I was looking at it earlier, it's uh, pretty amazing. Oh, that's right, it's being powered now too, so we're taking damage to our core if we use it. But anyway, yeah, that is an insane coverage there. You can see it's covering everything. Anyway, okay, um, mm, so that battery helped out though, that was good. All right, so it's now got zero, I picked it up again so it'll recharge our inventory. Uh, does an Alpha 7 even have anything I want? I don't think, probably not. Prototype protection, it totally annihilated most of its stuff. It's all pretty damaged. It probably has, what is that, like Centrium armor? But it's really damaged. Yeah, it's Centrium medium armor, it's almost gone though. There's a prototype reactor. It is one of the better prototypes. But anyway, I don't see anything else we're probably going to want. Probably grab that matter. It does also have like a uh, multi rail, but um, I can't imagine we'll be using. Uh, it has an improved quantum reactor. Yeah, but it's damaged though. Uh, not that much damage. Mm. All right, so it's got a multi-rail with 93. Multi-rails are pretty amazing. But it's better when you get a bunch of them. Stack them. Uh, yeah, I don't know. The ST, I don't know. I probably don't, I don't imagine using the ST. It's got 73 left on its quantum reactor, whereas this one, uh, okay, that's in better shape. Okay, sure, we'll take it. 
Anyway, so we're here now. <laughs> Need to get one. I'm not actually nerfing it though, Tone. It's a uh, I'm not nerfing. I'm nerfing the cheese. I'm not nerfing the ST. Um, trust me, there will be big booms later. Okay, open that door. Let's put up a tracking trojan because I don't want to be surprised by programmers or other random stuff. Sigix Terminator. We found you. I'm still carrying the power sword. We don't need to carry the power sword. Let's just happen to be carrying that around still. Okie dokie. We now have a Sigix Terminator. Okay. Um... So let's see what else is there. I guess there's a Sigix broadsword. I don't think we need that. Everyone, it's pretty much an insanely powerful weapon, but maybe we do need that. I don't know which is better. Maybe is the broadsword better or is the stripper better? Or I can carry both and just drop some other stuff because <laughs> I'm carrying around a whole ton of other random crap. Uh, let's see, we've got a lot of remote data jacks. We probably don't need five data jacks. Probably three is good enough, so that makes enough space. So, yeah, we might as well go pick up the broadsword. All right, not easy to take, not hard to take either. Uh, I'm going to just drop a couple of remote data jacks because we now have some advanced ones. Pick up the broadsword. All right, now we have a broadsword too. More options, right? It's such a large inventory. Yeah, we do definitely need to have spare data jacks, though. I like having, I always like having at least two, but uh, I guess we prefer, I prefer having three total, just in case things get really bad. But I guess in the late game, it also you can get really good ones off of programmers, so it becomes easier to source them rather than in the in the first half of the game having a data jack and getting them is actually a little more problematic. Sometimes you don't want to actually build one at a fabricator. Okay. Let's see if we can find... Uh, all right. First get into this room. Let's see if we can find repair stations. Found the other one. There's another repair station somewhere. It's far away. It's way off on the west side of the map. Oh. I don't really want to go all the way over there. Although we do have to go halfway there to get back to the garrison. <laughs> Johnson says we're still 18 inventory away from Tonesville. That's pretty insane. Tone got up to 58 inventory slots. Huh. That's so crazy. Yeah, if you want to go full riff coupler, you just have all storage and then a bunch of couplers and just have so much spare. But I don't know. It's really tough to stick in the uh, get in the right amount of utility, right? Although we still own, we're still going to get four more slots, which means basically four more utility slots for this build um, before we leave, uh, before we're at the surface. Oh, damn it. Whoops. I didn't see the engineer, and now we're getting attacked. Uh, if, is there only one? It's got to be more than one. All right, what are we going to do about this dude? Well, we've got lots of armor now. I guess we'll just kill him. <laughs> Not like we don't have the capability anymore. We could use the uh, broadsword or... Strip them. Let's use the Terminator. <laughs> All right. Um, there's nothing under us here.
Yeah, I'm just kidding. Destiny would not going to use the Terminator. <laughs> Terminator would kind of obliterate us as well. Although the phase armor would probably block most of it. We'd still get obliterated. Oh, damn. Now we're at 5% corruption. Oh, well. It's not going to matter soon. All right. See you later, Jack9. Yeah, we're going to make a bunch of pals. Hopefully, we're going to get a bunch of pals in the next garrison. I guess where it's also good, we're going to have a core stripper in case we have to take on a behemoth like that. All right. I think we'll do the... Um broadsword and put back on the nano actuators oh shoot i'm gonna be stuck here i needed i've needed to do the change here broadsword will uh, protect us Make them come to us. <laughs> All right, there's another advanced remote data check. Uh oh, shoot! All right, this is kind of annoying. This, um, shoot. The scavenger here is uh, keeping the door open. Yep. Hmm. If he's keeping the door open, these guys are going to pass by and spot us. And I'm trying to wait here so that I can get that guy down here. Let's see how much time do we have. We're moving 135. Shoot. Just got spotted. All right, now we're going to... This is going to be a little problematic. Yeah, just shoot them all. <laughs> Fight them all. All right, come on, you need to die. Thank you. All right, never mind. We'll just kill everyone with a broadsword. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. I kind of now wish we're going to have a third weapon slot. If only because then we could use the double slot thing and uh, swap more easily. Use two slot items and also swap in a data jack. Because we are going to need to be hacking. And anyway, let's see. There's, they drop both remote data jacks. The other dude is trying to circle around a different way. All right, we now have a bunch of advanced remote data jacks. And our broadsword is regenerating, and we have phase armor, and everything's looking pretty good. Our wheels are getting kind of beat up. We have spares, but we only have really one full spare set like to repair those but we might get some more wheels i guess in uh, inside the garrison as possible oh never mind did i just not notice we hacked him <laughs> we now have an assassin friend uh, i didn't notice he was hacked okay hello assassin friend thank you for joining the party let's go all right, well, we got a bunch of cool quarantine stuff. And I think that's enough here. We do need, actually, you know, I just realized that we also we can get free storage capacity by replacing these two for high capacity, which we still haven't done yet. Um, didn't see any fabricators. Hmm. Oh, well. I guess maybe next depth. We've still got several more floors here. Um, research and then another research branch testing. Okay, let's see what uh, happy stuff lies in the garrison. Late game garrisons can be very dangerous, but that's fine. Because we, uh, garrisons are our home. Okay, we found some swarmers. We need, um... Hmm, all right, let's get our new riff ability. That's one of the things we're really looking forward to, right? Wow, that's a lot of swarmers up there. <laughs> we do not have behemoth couplers, uh, which is a problem. Because there's going to 
almost certainly be a behemoth in the center. Uh, that's why I was saying it's kind of nice we have the core stripper. Maybe we could just charge the behemoth and strip it. <laughs> <laughs> Not that we're fast. I guess probably put on a sentry wheel and then speed ourselves up there. We could get more couplers up here to the north, but we'd have to face off against all these swarmers to do it. There's going to be some couplers around the north side here. Probably worth checking that first, uh, given our current situation. I can pull off the nano actuators and put on another swarmer coupler. That's probably a good idea. And I'm also going to swap in that other storage unit. Actually, wait a minute. Because this will give us extra storage for just for swapping stuff. All right. Wow. They're already alerted here. Okay, just using their couplers to turn them all against each other. Okay, they're all dead. <laughs> oh, I should probably bring our friend up here. I left him out in the hallway just so he didn't make a mess of things. Grunt, grunt, swarmer. Okay, well, I guess it's better than nothing. That's a pretty low haul. Did get a new swarmer coupler to replace the one we just used. But two grunts is good, though, at least. Um, did need those, for sure. Would have been nice to find a beam with coupler in there. You guys wait here. Don't want them to cause trouble just yet. Oh, there's a lot of guys down in the southeast. Looks like north is nothing there. Yeah, it's exactly a tone. You can never have too many grunt couplers. <laughs> That's also where crosswire comes in handy because then you get all the common bots couplers. Oh, that's right. Oh, wait. <clears throat> there's no behemoth? Oh, yeah, there's no behemoth. All right. Yay, no behemoth. We're lucky. There's only a chance of a behemoth. Uh, obviously, the chance is high in the late game, but... I think there's nothing in there. Oh, there's an ARC. Oh, look, grunts. <laughs> hmm. Do we really not auto-hack anything? Oh, there we go. Finally kicked in. All right, we just auto-hacked four grunts. <laughs> I put on another grunt coupler specifically to auto hack. Um, now I'm going to actually manually hack the other one. Dudes. Oh no, shoot. All right, they're going to get all shut up. All right, no time for that. I was going to manually hack, but they've already started alerting other stuff. So I'm going to first power boot them up. There's a programmer out there. Yeah, we'll hack you too. Manually. All right. Uh, the delay, uh, it only hacks once per turn. Or it only checks on the turn, uh, uh, once per turn, Tone. It doesn't uh, automatically check it immediately. So the, what happened to the programmer?
Okay, everything out here is dying. Okay, everyone's gonna get caught in stasis traps along with me. Uh, I'm not sure what other action I did. Uh, delay 100. But yeah, either way, it's not meant to kick in immediately. All right, we finally got some friends. Like, and now we're gonna get some wheels. Uh oh, hunters. We don't have any more hunter couplers except these, so I guess we're just gonna. I'm gonna try and auto hack them with our coupler. If it doesn't work, they'll just die. No auto hack. Alright, just die. Ow. Our friends are gonna get beat up though. Better than us getting beaten up. Ooh, look at all these wheels. Nice. Tons and tons of wheels. You guys really don't have to pile around like this. We also have some more friends around the corner that I need to go pick up. I left them back there. All right, well, we got our wheels uh, back in working order again. Lots more wheels, too. Oh yeah, that's true, there is a storage there as well. Only large. We can replace our current large though. Or attach another one because that's what happens when I have an empty slot, right? <laughs> there's another one to the northeast. Nice. Okay, let's go get our friends. Oh, look at that. Found the entrance to the phase generator. Okay. Um, oh, thanks for the subscribe, Rukisama. I, might, I should mention that I won't be streaming. I'm streaming this. We're going to continue this run next week as well. I mean, assuming it doesn't end today, I don't think it'll end today. But yeah, we're going to continue it uh, next week. And uh, but and after that, I'll be gone uh, for some weeks. All right, let's see if we can get a new riff ability. Yeah, 48 inventory. <laughs> yeah, we're now even more overloaded. We, it might actually make sense. I mean, what are we if we put on the other wheel? We got down to 140. Uh, or our speed is 140 then instead of 150. It's getting kind of slow, though. How slow were you, Tone, when you had your ridiculous uh, mega storage build? Oh, imps. That's not good. I don't want to mess with imps. I was going to say, there's something I couldn't recognize behind there. <laughs> hey, Ruki Sama, we're just continuing our uh, bot hacking run. It's going pretty well. Oh, you run 200 on treads, eh, Tom? Okay, that's pretty damn slow. <laughs> yeah, there's a segregator there. I don't want to use a segregator. Oh, only two slots. Yeah, I went for three slots just so we're not insanely slow. I kind of like being at this speed. So, yeah, we're continuing our uh, bot hacking run. We're in the late game now for anyone who's uh, just now catching up. Boom. We've so far we started in quarantine and we went into the quarantine garrison. And so after this, this garrison will spit us back out into the next research floor. But we still need to get the or what we're here to do is we're here to collect couplers and to also get another riff ability. Can't wait to see what we get. Whatever we get, it'll be good, right? Uh, let's see, brawler. I mean, kind of want everything. Oh look, we have enough storage to pick up everything. 
We're going to have enough storage to start picking up everything, but not actually using it. But as soon as we leave this floor, we'll get two more slots, which is great. Um, and we have a lot of friends. <laughs> Okay, nothing else back here. Here's our friend who got annihilated. Oh, he's got he's hopping. He's just a heat sink hopping around on one leg. <laughs> he got blown off, blown up by the imp. Poor grunt. Yeah, speed can be pretty useful, Tone. Otherwise, you're at the mercies of like allies doing their thing. But I mean, it's not, we're not exactly fast. <laughs> we're still really slow at this speed. Oh, that's true. If you got sentry allies, you'll be fine because they're so slow. We don't have any sentries, which is kind of sad. We haven't had any sentry couplers for a while. Oh, that's true also. Uh, yeah, having treads allows you to save some util slots on armor because they'll protect you. Oh, all right. Here comes some more bots. We have, let me see. We should, pro I'm gonna put on another grunt coupler to maximize the chances of hacking these guys. All right, we got two of them. Free hacks. I could hack that guy, but eh, I'm not gonna bother. Now we got him in a pincer move. Their own guys are attacking him from behind. Hmm, <laughs> okay. Doing good. Oh, swarmers. There's a bunch of swarmers here. Um, hmm. Now kind of run out of stuff to put on. I'm going to take off the phase armor, actually. I don't really need it on, I guess, now that we have a bunch of allies. Thinking of how to get more stuff on. Because I want to put on another... Um, I got that damaged. I was thinking of putting on another uh, Swarmer Coupler, specifically to hack some more Swarmers. <laughs> actually, do we even have any more Swarmer Couplers? Oh, you got one more only. Hmm, hmm. it's actually kind of low. Maybe we'll just kill them. Use the one we've got. That's what we'll do. Hey guys. We might hack one or two of them. Or they're just going to die first. <laughs> Alright, we got one. Beautiful. Oh, I'm glad you like the way it looks, Ruki-sama. Yeah, I've, uh, <clears throat> here's, here's my beautiful mode, too. I, got a lo I love playing in an ASCII. <laughs> exactly, Tone. Exploit the auto-assimilate before the nerf. Yeah, next release, nerfed. It's still going to be good, but... Not quite as good. All right, let's see. All right, we don't know what's behind this wall here. Um, this this little security area could be um, could be an ARC. It could be a specialist stuff we can't recognize because we don't have couplers for them. Could we don't actually, don't have? Oh, I still have a sentry coupler, so I can see those at least. We still have two grunt couplers, so forging ahead to hack the next group could be good. All right, you guys, everyone just like wait here, maybe? Uh, I want to step a little ahead. Now you can follow me. I just don't want to be all in front of me. up back before I forget I'm in ASCII mode because they look the same to me. <laughs> so used to playing both. Improved phase shifter. Hmm. Yeah, ARC or nothing. It could have been an ARC. 
All right, there's an ARC. Ouch, ouch. Losing some friends here. Losing a lot of friends. Oh, and then we just hacked every single one of them. Well, we lose some, gain some. Love garrisons. <laughs> now everyone's stuck in the stasis trap because that's what happens. And if we want, we can get some more wheels. But honestly, we actually, our wheels are okay. <laughs> We don't even need any more, but we can check if there's an ability over here. Let's see. Yes, riff ability. All right, everyone wait here. We're going to find out what we get. Here we go. Boom. We got structural interface. Okay. A nice supporting hack. I think given what we had already, I would have preferred to start getting some coupler efficiency. Um... Because you can increase the value of all your couplers. That's something we're kind of lacking now. All our couplers are meh. But yeah, a structural interface is good early, not late. Um, I would have liked to have had this uh, yeah, for the first half. It's a good early hack. I mean, uh, early ability, riff ability. Uh, we didn't... Oh, that was our previous run, Bad Emperor. I got that very early in the first run. But that run only lasted one stream because it was the first uh, Beta 9 pre-release and it crashed. Uh, at the end <laughs> and i was playing debug mode not the actual normal mode and it, which means it wasn't auto saving i needed to manually save and i wasn't doing that so we lost that run yeah so that run never got finished but yeah that was the ability we had in that run for sure so anyway now we can see all the phase walls uh not as advantageous anymore but that's a lot of phase walls whoa this whole wall is a phase wall. <laughs> oh, wow, check it out. There's like Nova Cannons back here. <laughs> There's like a whole bunch of stuff. This is the kind of crazy stuff you can find in garrisons. Enhanced Nova Cannons, even. Sheesh. I guess I should pick one of these up. Uh, drop the linear accelerator and pick up an enhanced Nova Cannon. Because Nova Cannons melt through anything. I mean, <clears throat> I, we have a lot of other weapons anyway, but... Now we can actually use the phase walls. Um, oh, check this room out. Look at this place. <laughs> yeah, enhanced Nova Cannons are pretty awesome. I always like to carry one around. Let's see if we get Grunt. <clears throat> Yeah, there's a lot of crazy stuff in garrisons. I'm glad I spent so much time making garrisons. I made garrisons a long time ago, you know, during the very earliest alphas. And I spent a long time making a whole ton of different garrison pieces that can be used to put together garrisons, like a whole bunch of them. And for years, a lot of people didn't really see them because a lot of people just avoided garrisons. They didn't really need the, ability, need the stuff that you get inside garrisons. They weren't good enough. Um... So a lot of most people just never even saw it. There were just a few players who would like to enter garrisons. They would find all kinds of stuff. So, but now that we're using them a lot, I'm glad there's a lot of variety. Okay, swarmer, grunt, grunt, two swarmer and two grunt and a brawler. Dang, I don't think we need the brawler. We, what do we got here? We got a lot of NC. We already have a brawler coupler. A replace. That's a better brawler coupler. Um, and let's see. I could drop some of the large storages to make space. Because we don't need damage large storage. We can get more of those later. Plus, we're trying to replace them with high capacity anyway. Although, wait a minute. We, we don't, I need one more because we our high capacity is almost gone. But I should probably keep one of these. We still have an armor huge wheel. Centrium is good armor, but I don't think we need to carry that around anymore. Probably might drop the hacking suite too. So this is what I was saying earlier. I don't need that many teleporters. Because I'm not going to use them. I kind of want to keep the slip nose because um, to find an opportunity to use one as a bomb for fun. 
interrupt these rail guns. Yeah. Okay, now we've got some space. Oh, there's another brawler. Oh, oh that's the one I dropped. Never mind. All right, okay. <laughs> so these are our friends. Oh, that's right. Yeah, thanks for reminding me, uh, Johnson. I completely forgot we even had a brawler coupler attached. It's not one of the most useful. So yeah, I will just do a replace attachment and get some free uh, value there. Oh, the swarmer and grunt ones. It's true about the... We could do that. I'll do that when we find the next batch because we're going to find some more. We've only gone through... Well, we've gone through a little more than half. So yeah, there should be some more though. What's behind here? Oh... Destroyers. Unpowered destroyers. There's like a whole bunch of stuff back here. <laughs> They're unpowered though, so. Oh, look at that. A whole bunch of ARCs. We don't need that either. Looks like this is unpowered stuff. Oh, never mind. We just found some friends. Swordsman. Whoops. All right, we found some swordsmen to be our friends. Enhanced quantum rifles. Oh, more friends. A lot of friends. <laughs> oh, that's cool. This comes out behind here. <laughs> All right, of course. All right, okay. Everyone, let's get out of here. Let's go pick up some matter first. There we go. Now we have a small army. Not exactly a powerful army, though. It's just a bunch of weak bots. I'd prefer to have sentries and good stuff. Uh, yeah, I know, Destiny. Uh, I intentionally did that. Uh, I was intentionally using matter because I knew there was a bunch of matter up to the north after the battle. And it's much faster to use a data jack than running, ramming them to rewire. Ramming to rewire can take up to like 15, 20 turns, but using a data jack will take like one or two turns. So I just did it to save time. Stasis beam. Sorry for not explaining that. I was thinking about it as I did it, but I thought everyone would maybe know by now. Yes, the army is forming. Um, I, this is, feels like an army that could fall apart in two seconds, but... <laughs> Damn, now there's a sentry. We don't have a... We, st oh, we have one sentry coupler, I was going to say. We still haven't gotten a bunch of others, though. Hmm. <laughs> I was just... Yeah, I just mentioning my reasoning, just now. <laughs> different people have different strategies. Ooh. Oh, nice, we got him. Uh oh. All right, there's nothing in this one. Ah, oh, here we go, this is what I'm looking for. What do we get here, NC, NC, Hunter. Oh, it's good, we kinda needed another Hunter Coupler. Uh, two NCs though, don't really need more NC. We've got plenty of it. Hmm. A lot of grunt. Okay, we're making a nice, getting a nice collection together here. A lot of inventory. I'm going to drop our spare power because I'll pick up another one before long. We're going to go to the next floor and uh, that's going to switch up some stuff. Probably don't need this many wheels either. Oh, actually, we got some damage. Oh, that's right. Those were from that. So that makes sense. No, wait. Don't want to drop that one. Drop that one. Although I really don't need to carry this many NC couplers. I'm just going to leave the last NC coupler behind. <laughs> we don't need that many. Um... 
Yeah, Johnson. Uh, stasis beams. Stasis beams aren't really good in general, um, strategically speaking. <laughs> oh, we have still got this grunt who's unarmed. <laughs> Stasis beams are mainly for enemies to use against you, and right? they're not something you can use effectively. I've tried before. <laughs> Let's just keep looking around here. Okay, matter pod. All right, well, I guess we'll pick up some matter real quick. And now we've explored this entire garrison. Uh, there's still some back corridor here, but I don't think there's gonna be anything in it. This is just a... This is just a quick path through. This here is also going to be pretty much nothing. Probably. I guess we're done here. We can now gather our army. Is everyone here? <laughs> oh, nice. Is everyone even in range? <laughs> we have a lot of folks here. Actually, wait, let's go to the other exit, just in case. It would tell us. Um, it'll tell you if there's someone who's out of range. We can fit more people around here. Okie dokie. Oh, he has one core integrity too? <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty tight fit with all these bots. If we come over to the exit with the uh, Riffin Cellar, it gives you a little more space for everyone to gather around. And let's uh, leave behind one. Somebody got messed up. Oh, is our sentry still coming? Okay. Glad we didn't leave him behind. He's valuable. Okay. Nobody's going to be left behind now. Let's get out of here. <laughs> the swordsman is installing a rift. <laughs> uh, good one. That would be pretty funny. Okay. Utility, utility, because... That's the way we're rolling this build. Couplers and couplers and bots and couplers. Oh, that's true, Johnson. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you can destroy the wall tiles to make bigger room, and um, that is. I, I see what you mean. That was your challenge last run because you had a behemoth and multiple behemoths, huh? Pretty crazy. We still don't even have a. We had one earlier, but we don't have. Still don't have a behemoth coupler right now. It's kind of unfortunate. Um. If you get a behemoth coupler and then also get coupler efficiency, that's super awesome. Well, at least we can find hidden doors immediately. All right, so we're in the top left corner of the map here. And I guess we'll go into the research branch. I'd say we can go into a garrison, but then we might lose the research branch. I don't know what we're going to get in the research branch, but I mean, might as well go. Oh, here we go, a quantum reactor. Spare quantum reactor. Actually, wait a minute. The reason I was doing that was because I was going to put in that. Okay. Uh, I still don't have anything on Tone's build. <laughs> I have only got 54 inventory slots. Uh, can garrisons dump you into research branches or is it restricted? Uh, it could dump us into a research branch. Um, the thing is, uh, it's less likely to do that in our current situation. Oh, no. I don't want to lose, like, half of our army here. There's a, there's a behemoth in the corner <laughs> of the map. <laughs> Luckily, he did not see any of us. Uh, it's true. We could start slimming down inventory. I kind of want. I still want to replace our larges with the uh, high capacities. Uh, is there logic behind where garrisons put you? Uh, I mean, it's there is logic behind it, yes. And it's also, but it's also somewhat randomized. All right, we found the garrison. These guys are gonna like alert the garrison <laughs> by shooting up this watcher. Gee, I didn't even have time to hack him. He has a visual processing unit. Oh, been actually like wanting one of those for ages. 
This would allow us to auto hack much more effectively. <laughs> Tone says the logic is they're pretty sure they always dump you into recycling if possible. <laughs> yeah, that would be that's obviously that can be annoying. <laughs> All right, yeah, we're kind of overdoing it on the storage now. And we're going to need more slots to do stuff. I'm liking the visual processing unit, though. It's going to come in handy. Finally got one. There's also a garrison here. We can actually... Mm, I'm thinking... If there was an operator nearby... Oh, look, there's a fabricator. I should probably use that to build storage. Build biometal heavy treads. Hmm. We don't have any. Uh... Cool, no botnet up. I was worried we wouldn't get this, but we're getting it. Yeah, good point, Tone. <clears throat> That's true. We have like a ton of NC couplers, which we don't need. I've been carrying around six of them. <laughs> We have plenty of stuff we can get rid of. It's hard to shake the hoarding habit. All right, so we fixed up our, uh, replaced our storage unit there. <laughs> oh, dang, you had 12 sentry couplers in, in your run? Wow. That is crazy. 12 of them. Plus, I remember you had coupler efficiency. That would give them, yeah, you had, like, you had 600 charges on your sentry couplers. <laughs> uh, that is crazy. All right, so yeah, I'm going to get rid of some of that stuff. All right, we now have a free slot. Um, are dropping our storage a bit here. I don't even have an NC coupler attached. I was just noticing because I wanted to hack this dude. Oh, look at that. He dropped a bunch of Centrium Light Armor. <laughs> yeah, trigger high sec and let the complex send friends to us. Mm. Can work, can also be bad. Uh oh, programmers. Oh, and a bunch of swarmers, too. Well, sentries have been notified of our existence, and now he's on our side. <laughs> yeah, I kind of like the idea of while we have all these allies snowballing it into a bigger force. I, I think the main thing I'm afraid of is traps, I guess. With allies, traps and explosive machines are just insanely deadly. Yeah, we are getting pretty lucky with the auto assembly. But I do have two levels in it with 30%, so. Ah, good point. Tone says we need an operator to detect traps for us. That is true. All right, these guys are arriving. Wait, what? Programmers, okay. These guys are coming towards our position. 
because they were called from by, or as reinforcements to here. There must be an operator down here. But unfortunately, there's also three hunters down here. Uh, we could probably hack them. I'd have to attach my last uh, hunter coupler as a second one just to try and auto-hack them all. One hun extra hunter coupler, which I kind of want to do. I mean, they're really good allies. But doing that would require also dropping stuff. Could start slimming down our inventory here. I wonder if we should keep the advanced heatsink. I've been carrying that around just in case, but I don't think we actually need it anymore. I don't know. I can imagine scenarios where we need like all this stuff. <laughs> it makes it harder. Uh, no, not this one, uh, Bamber. This, um, yeah, drones we can technically use to hack other bots. In fact, uh, now that I think of that, it, we could technically, I think, cheat and use the, uh, we could hack this guy's FOV and use his FOV to hack other bots. I think we could do that in this current uh, build. It's not in the next build, which is releasing this afternoon, but that's actually pretty funny. That would be that would be pretty funny to hack FOV on other bots and then assimilate. Yeah, get some kind of chain going. <laughs> uh, but I mean, it's also funny enough that you can use just drones and command it to move around and do that stuff. But hmm. I'd have to drop six more things to lose another storage unit. I'd prefer to just drop four and switch one of the larges to high capacity. That would be much preferable. Oh, I've almost maxed out my swapping list here. I know Tone got past the uh, limit <laughs> on this window, which was not really meant to be passed. All right, now we've got three hunter friends. Uh, more than two backup of each thing. Yeah, we have a lot of inventory for keeping it. Uh, keep it. We, again, we can drop some wheels probably. Um, thing is, once you have allies, if you can rely on them, the thing is allies aren't reliable forever, but if we can rely on them, uh, we don't we don't really need much of what we have in our inventory now. There's a lot of spare stuff. Like, I mean, we've got so many wheel slots. We've got a whole storage unit is carrying, carrying just wheels. <laughs> and also NC couplers, which we don't need that many of. We should probably just start using them up. Speaking of, I think there's we could just build another storage unit here. Oh no, unfortunately, didn't quite make that. Uh oh, what is that? It's a programmer down here. Go friends. Oh, they're still fighting. Uh, aren't those explosive? I don't. Think they're explosive? If they are, they're doing a very good job of not exploding. <laughs> yeah, we basically have a bag of holding. Okay, uh, time to get some more. Find some more machines. That's what we need to do. Oh, it's a garrison. I think we're going to shut this one down. 
Oh, come on. Oh, damn. Uh, <laughs> I don't have a demolisher coupler anymore. <laughs> uh, I was just about to get to the garrison and deal with this. <laughs> this is going to be really nasty. Um, damn it. I was just about to, I was going to seal this garrison. And it happened literally the turn before I stepped next to the garrison. Uh, or on the turn I did step to the garrison. That sucks. Spit out a freaking demolisher. Just when we get it in our good army going here. And I don't have a demolisher coupler. Yes, I remember pulling off a coupler earlier. Uh, yeah, we did. We removed one earlier. I had one. It was a long time ago. Or, I mean, earlier this stream. But... It was back in quarantine, mainly because we don't normally run into them, and I really needed an extra slot at the time. That was when going after the uh, Alpha 7, I guess it was. I'm going to put on some extra armor. And hope that our friends kill him. <laughs> oh man, he's going into there. Oh my god, he just nuked everyone. He's nuking everyone. Come on, kill him, everyone. Did he just, like, die? Thank you. God, he just nuked everyone twice. <laughs> Uh, I already sealed the garrison a second ago, so nothing more can come out of it. That's what I was trying to do originally. Now our friends are pretty beat up. They're still at least alive. At least they didn't kill everyone. Probably another nuke or two and everyone would be dead. Ugh. Anyway, at least there's only one of them. Ow, okay. You need to not do that. Yes, influence zero. I love it. <laughs> All right, and... gonna fire my enhanced Nova cannon because I feel like it. There we go. Me and my swarmer buddy took him out. Okay. Well, that was nasty. Alright, let's see if we can get some couplers out of this thing. Duelist. Demol Seriously? <laughs> it dropped a demolisher coupler. <laughs> two demolisher couplers. <laughs> there are two demolisher couplers. It just dropped too. That is pretty hilarious. Oh my god. If only I'd slashed it earlier and then took him over. Demolisher ally would have been actually really cool. Now, dev hacks would have been, I, I would have already known that those are demolisher couplers and I did that in advance. Oh, that sucks. But I never would have guessed that this could have been demolisher couplers because the chances aren't high. Oh, that would have been really cool though. I could have slashed it, grabbed a coupler, and hacked him immediately. That would have been really cool. Too bad. All right, now I kind of want Demolisher to appear. Upgrade our Duelist Coupler. Damn. Uh, why didn't it stack the messages? What messages weren't stacked? Um, oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah, up there, the Demolisher uh, uh, Coupler tumbles out of Garrison Access. Hmm. Uh, I wonder why. That's a good question. Oh, no, wait. It, uh, it's because it's a double, uh, I know, I think it's because it's a double link stream. I don't know, it should still stack up, doesn't it? I'm wondering if it's because it's it, this uh, message spanned two lines. It might not stack messages that span multiple lines. I don't really recall. I guess I could look into it later. It should, normally it stacks message, repeat messages, though, yeah. It's probably because it's two lines, but I thought I could check, fix that up, because the way the lines are stored internally, it um, it only compares the previous line. 
Uh, otherwise, yeah, I would have to compare. I th- yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I, I, never mind. I'm not even going to look. It's uh, um, intentional because of the way the architecture works. It would be problematic to do that, so it just doesn't do it. <laughs> okay, our friends are at least not totally dead. There's a micro nuke on the ground. A lot of hover units. A lot of grunts. And duelists. You know what? We should probably just go make our army bigger. Ah, this is a bad place to make our army bigger, though. It's not a good idea to do this in a corridor. Because <laughs> we lose access. Hellfire trap in the next room. That's bad. We need an operator. Whoa, did we just lose a bunch of guys? No, it's just... They're moving around. I guess it's nice having structural interference knowing that these guys aren't going to come through some secret door on the wall or something like that. Finally. Uh, did we just lose a bunch of guys? Oh, it's a ward. Damn it. Okay, that's a little worse. It's being behemoth. <laughs> Shoot. Friggin' behemoth. Um, no, it's not a bug, NXG. It was an intentional design decision that I didn't want to do that. Just Tone brought it up because he hadn't noticed it before, but <clears throat> shoot. Behemoth. It was kind of nice back when we had a behemoth coupler. Could see him coming. Ah, okay, Angsty. <laughs> um, damn. We have this is not going to be good. Hmm. Where are all our other friends go? Are they all dead? No, there's a hunter. Our friends just chopped up the sentry. Disarmed Swarmer. All right, well, we've got a few more friends here. Unfortunately, our big army, I think it just bit the dust because we met a behemoth. They're still fighting, though. They're not going to be able to take out a behemoth on their own. Pretty nasty corner. There's two behemoths up here. Yeah, I was thinking about using the core stripper. Um, but the thing is, we didn't really have a great army there anyway, because a lot of them died in the corridor uh, fight anyway. Having allies in corridors sucks. Shoot. All right, I'm going to tell my friends to stay here. For just Oh, look, what the heck? Did they kill the behemoth? They're back. They chopped up the behemoth. <laughs> Okay, good. Apparently they won. We won! <laughs> Couldn't actually tell from up here. All right, I'm going to pull back and let our friends catch up. And I told these guys to wait. Oh, actually, these guys need to not wait. I need our swordsmen to follow so they get close to the door. Uh, let's tell Mr. Other Swordsman to follow. And these guys here next to the door are just going to wait. Oh, that's the swordsman with Riff. <laughs> Maybe he has a behemoth coupler we don't know about. And 
what am I going to use? Shoot, I can't swap it in. I kind of want to swap in our broadsword, actually. I have a little, I should drop something else. I need to drop something. I'm going to get rid of the flat cannon. And let's see, we've got one Nova cannon. Two demolisher couplers. Uh, I'm going to keep them. I'm definitely keeping a demolisher coupler this time. I'm going to drop one more thing. Finding something to drop. Uh, maybe an NC coupler. I'm going to drop the heat sink. Because <laughs> it's easy to find heat sinks. There we go. Finally. Okay, now we're waiting. Now I'm going to wait for them to open the door. Uh, that's true. That's a good idea. Johnson could drop and uh, other stuff. I'm trying to keep some actual in extra inventory space though this time. Die. That was it. There was just one. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, we got him. He's dead now. Okay, wait. I need to tell everyone to follow. All right. So apparently, uh, we did kill the behemoth. Repair station. Now I kind of want to go to the repair station. Hmm. Oh, oh, it's got a long path. Whoa, it goes all the way across the map. <laughs> Okay, what did he find? He didn't find an exit. Uh, he found some hidden doors, what the sounds were. Let's see, he's got what kind of items did he find? There's a Nova Cannon. Oh, there's a Fabricator. There's two Fabricators on this route. Could build some more storage, high capacity storage. Replace one of the current larges and drop the other one. Advanced strategy, shifter. Okay, don't see anything else especially interesting, but the two fabricators are nice. Um, yeah. Uh, you can use multiple melee weapons, Bamber. Check the manual, it'll describe how to use uh, multi wielding. Recycling unit. I'm kind of tempted. I want to go see if they actually killed the behemoth. They must have. Otherwise, why would we have two swordsmen left? Because maybe we could put in a Trojan on that repair station. Uh, yeah, you can only have one active melee weapon at one time, Bamber. That's your main melee weapon, the primary melee weapon. Uh, the other ones will be... Uh, they can do follow-up attacks. And there's, yeah, there's a number of mechanics related to that. Yeah, it's not worth screwing with. Okay, that eye's dead. Oh, alarm trap. We don't have a jammer. There's going to be more alarm traps in this area. Oh, that's right, we need an operator. I keep forgetting. Oh, look, we just found a high capacity storage unit sitting on the ground. Uh, okay, I don't mind if I do. Of course, it's going to auto replace that one. Um, let's see. I'm going to replace this with high capacity and uh, then drop some more stuff, and we can drop a storage unit and have an extra slot. And wait, I dropped some wheels on purpose, but then it also dropped our matter pod. That's the only thing that got dropped. So need to pick up 
Oh wait, no, we dropped a quantum reactor too. Forgot to drop other stuff first. E Our compact battery only has three integrity left. It's kind of funny we're carrying that around. But it's the compact battery is what enables us to use the core stripper at all. I don't know if we're going to be able to strip much else, but... Hmm. Still have a lot of non-essential stuff. Dude, you just picked up my stuff. Here I am in research, getting stolen from. <laughs> he just took our... Uh, oops. Didn't expect him to arrive that quickly. <laughs> um, start evac. Uh, let's see, what else can we do to this guy? Format him. Um... Hmm, nothing else we can do. All right, fine, I'll just format him. He doesn't have what I want, though. I think it's the other one that stole this. His inventory's empty. Yeah, the other dude stole it. Oh. <laughs> Artemis with the idea, right? Yeah, we could send our friend over and see if he gets shot by the behemoth. That's true. That recycler, where'd he go? The recycler just stole our stuff. I don't know which one it was, though. We could send, uh, let's send uh, this recycler and see. If, we could send this recycler over here and see if he gets shot. And if he doesn't, then that means we can use this repair station. But the only thing I was going to use the repair station for was just to, to find other, uh, find mechanics, I guess. We don't really need this guy. I just uh, hacked him for the hell of it. All right. Yeah, there's no behemoth. <laughs> uh, that's a pretty funny idea. Okay, so let's put a Trojan on this thing. Alrighty. Or not. It's a higher level. It's security level 3 and we have zero hackware, so low chance. Hmm. Well, we now no longer have the backup. Oh, wait, no, I did get back. What the hell? Oh, yeah, I thought I didn't have it. I have the compact battery. Where am I missing then? Don't know what I'm missing. I'm missing anything. You seem to be... You seem to have everything. Hmm. Sure, whatever. All right, there's another eye. Alrighty, give us some more map data. Oh, there's an... Alright, alright, I already did that. There's another fabricator. Not a whole lot of data there. Yeah, there aren't a whole ton of uh, robot manual hacks, but there are a few. Mostly just really special stuff from some events. I've wanted to add more of those, but haven't had an opportunity. There's a lot of things I want to add more of. <laughs> How about you guys don't go on a rampage just for a watcher? So now we have all HCP storage units. Yay. High capacity. Perfect. Um, we're in good shape now. So we can now just kind of like go chill and gather an army and collect couplers and mess up some garrisons. Although actually, I guess we don't want to go into a garrison. Yet, we kind of want to go to the next floor. The thing is, if we can get two abilities, potentially, if we go into a garrison on this floor and then come back to this floor and then go to the branch. If we go to the branch, we get the testing items, possibly, and we then we can also go to... Um, 
um, and then maybe going and then going to garrison on that floor. So again, we've had this dilemma before. Do you want to get uh, possibly two abilities or one ability and the research branch goods? All right, I really want an operator friend now. <laughs> Seeing these, oh my God, there's fusion bombs in that room. <laughs> oh, here comes some more friends. Trojans for robot hacks. That's exactly what Riff is, Bad Emperor. That's you can do stuff like that. <laughs> oh, hey, Phenom. Yes, we're a bot lord mutant. It's the typical name for a late game bot hacker build. That door is going to be opened in a second, is my guess. Nope, not yet. We could open it ourselves. Hey, guys. It's a, it's a duel of the swordsmen. Programmers. That's fine. All right, I manually hacked the other grunt because we have plenty of grunt couplers. Shoot, they're fighting the sentry. Okay, well, never mind, the sentry's dead. And so is the grunt. <laughs> oh, it's our hunter. Hunter is just like annihilating them. That's what hunters do. They're really good friends. So are sentries. Sentries are nice because they last long. They got all that armor. They're slow, though. All right, so I think our army is getting bigger, slowly but surely, again. <laughs> no, yeah, I saw you mentioned that. I think it was on uh, on Discord, Bamber. You had to, <laughs> there was a, a trap inside an emergency quarter. Yeah, that's pretty nasty. Oh, <laughs> I was shooting from a dugout tile, but I was shooting a remote data jack. That's perfectly fine. Not like I was shooting a big cannon or something. All right, I guess we keep going south. Oh wait, this programmer's coming, right? Uh, need to put a track out. Um, no, I, I think you might have missed, uh, uh, they, they, I think you might have missed the full comment, Desinim. I uh, didn't say they spawn only on the south side, they spawn on the south of the west side. And that hasn't been changed, so. Uh, shoot, where did all our friends go? I didn't tell them to stay there, did I? <laughs> That's a lot of programmers. Why are none of our friends here? Wow, nice job, dudes. I kind of want to, like, help them. Oh, shoot, we just lost one. Okay, now I'm kind of not happy. Where'd all the other dudes go? Where'd our army go? I didn't tell them to stay there, I don't believe. Shoot, whatever. Okay. Um, <clears throat> shoot. Yeah, our army is sitting over there. I think they're fighting the other programmer. Dropped his gamma rifle. All right, let's get back over there. 
I, I told him to stay there. I forgot about that. That was my bad. That should have gone differently. Ended up losing a couple guys who didn't need to lose. Ah, oh well. Phase armor is lasting quite a long time. I'm liking it. I mean, it's, it's lasting a while because it's also damaging our core. Kind of heading into a corner. It could be a dead end area. This being research and all. Eh, okay, no, it's not good. Oh, finally, I totally needed it. Shoot, I don't have my. I need to uh, get our data jack here and hack this guy. Shoot, we're running low on NC coupler. Need to attach a different one. I don't know what I can do with five. Well, we have plenty of time to find out. We can tell him to summon haulers instead. Um, obviously, we want this guy on our side in a second. I'm just gonna run, ruin that one. Let's get another NC coupler. Oh shoot! Now he's around the corner. Ah. Oh. Oh well, whatever. I'm gonna, whatever he calls the reinforcements, just assimilate that too. <laughs> I thought I had an, I'd have enough time to do that. Too late. Come back here, you freak. Where are you at? There he is. Lost the... Oh shoot. There's a garrison right around the corner. And it just sent three hunters. Ouch. <laughs> this is gonna hurt. <laughs> Yeah, I probably should have just summoned Holler's Tone. I, no, actually, I mean, the reason I didn't was because I wanted to... Um, I didn't... Uh, because I thought I had enough time to assimilate immediately. I didn't know. I didn't realize he would get away that fast. I thought he would be within range, but he was just around the corner. I thought he was going to be in, like, this space or whatever, or outside the room. But he made it all the way just behind the edge of the corner, so I couldn't hack him anymore. And now there's Terminators coming. Um, I think we're out of hunter couplers, extra ones anyway. Only got one left. The one that we're using. Ouch. Oh, shoot, it comes some more from the east. Yeah, I just assimilated a watcher because we have extra NC couplers anyway, and it's become, it can like like uh, take some uh, fire. Those hunters can like fool around with it. Hey, Fanon, Fanon, what are you referring to? Did you just, like, uh, back my Patreon? <laughs> We're getting some... Uh, I'm really happy with the results of uh, Patreon so far. It's going to make some cool stuff possible for Cogmind, possibly. I mean, I was planning on, you know, trying to build it up so that when we reach 1.0, I can use it to continue funding extra development beyond. But, uh, yeah, it seems like we might actually be able to, to do that. Oh, awesome. Thanks so much, man. Yes. <laughs> Slapping me with wads of cash. That makes it hard to program. 
Yes, I, I'm making cool stuff. I actually added two new hacks yesterday. Uh, but those are not in the X3 pre-release. They're uh, they're not going to come until X4 because I already put the X3 build together so that I could release it after this. But um, yes, I'm adding cool stuff. More school stuff to come. I added a new robot hack and a new uh, terminal uh, brute force hack. The brute force one, it's only going to be situationally useful for certain types of builds, but the I can see the... Uh, the new robot hack being kind of interesting. Uh, hopefully not OP, <laughs> but I don't know. I actually, originally it was going to be a low cost one, but I used it and I was seeing how good it was in actual battle and it seems pretty effective, so I had to raise the cost. But anyway, yeah. Yeah, Beta 9 is pretty cool. Um, there might be a little bit of a setback on the leaderboards. I don't know. Um, diversionary dev comment. Yesterday, I started, I was going to start this week on the new leaderboard stuff. And uh, so I was going, I, um, long story short, you have to, I was going to download some stuff from Google that would allow me to build what are called proto buffs to uh, upload the information for the leaderboards in kind of like a platform agnostic way. It's just, it's a way to serialize data and send it, you know, in binary form, uh, which a lot of things are compatible with. So anyway, I wanted to use this. And sure enough, as I was guessing, I was thinking that, my code base might be too old to be compatible with it because I've been working on Cogmind for many years and my library is actually very old. It's based on old C++ rather than all the new stuff. And sure enough, it requires a much newer uh, IDE and compiler to use that stuff. So kind of a dilemma. I'm not sure what to do about that now. Um, the option is either to upgrade all of Cogmind stuff, which will take time out of development for sure, and it will also could introduce bugs. Um, something you don't normally would necessarily want to do is change your whole uh, compiler and language version while you're in the middle of a big project because it can uh, break stuff. Um, and it'll break. It can break stuff that like isn't obvious, like stuff that uh, it doesn't jump out and say, "Okay, this is this is broken now." This, it doesn't show always an error. Sometimes there's just weird quirks about how the way things work that that maybe I used it that way before, but it can't be used that way now, but, or maybe it has slightly different side effects. Um, one example, which also really worries me on that territory is uh, wine compatibility, because wine compatibility is, is Cogmind is very good in terms of its wine compatibility, but there were several issues that had been popping up that were just weird quirks that um, there weren't errors in the code. There were just ways which wine was interpreting things differently than Cogmind's code normally works on Windows. And uh, so I actually fixed those bugs so they'd be fixed in Wine. And um, uh, anyway, so the idea is if I change that stuff now, it could introduce new bugs, both on Windows and even more so possibly in Wine, uh, which I'm kind of worried about. And so the other option would be to find some other non-Google-based solution for that. So yes, legacy code curse. Exactly, Desinim. <laughs> That is the way of the coder, yeah. So, um, yeah, I am using Visual Studio, that's true. Uh, so most of it wouldn't be too big of an issue, but part of the problem is then I have to upgrade all of Visual Studio, and I have a lot of plugins too, and not, I won't necessarily be able to upgrade all of my plugins, so I'd lose some of that. Um, it's really kind of annoying. Um, so, yeah. Um, the old, all the old code works exactly. It's, uh, it's kind of, but the thing is, you know, with the leaderboards, you do need a solution. So anyway, I'm gonna, I gotta talk to the guy who's helping me with that. Uh, he's already emailed me back and asked me what specifications are. And maybe we can find something, some alternative. But I had already planned out and started getting ready to build the new leaderboard stuff. So use magic, right, Phenom? <laughs> anyway. Um, Oh, Tone is asking, are there any plans for better ally control now that Rift will be a popular play style? Uh, no. In fact, the opposite might be true. Um, I, I was thinking about going in the opposite direction um, of uh, giving you even less control over your controllable allies <laughs> because I don't want it to turn into tedium. Uh, we have already had that problem before. This is actually regardless of having allies or not. Um, I think uh, there's still too much, you know, you can optimize in a, in a tedious way with using, by controlling all your allies, micromanaging. 
And it's really annoying. Exactly, Phenom. Uh, well, I know you want them to be smart and just do it. Well, so there's two approaches. One is, so more specifically, what am I talking about? I'm referring to taking away the, uh, the go-to command um, so that you can no longer specifically position allies or tell them to go somewhere. I haven't done this, and it's just on my list of ideas. Uh, I'm going. To, I do want to take feedback on it, and see what everyone thinks. But it would really, it would almost, it would pretty much eliminate tedium, um, for the most part. There, there could obviously be some side effect. For example, if you want them to go somewhere, you could move there yourself. Everyone follows you. You tell them to wait there, then you leave. That's possible. You can um, that, but that still wastes turns, and um, so obviously there's a cost associated with it. There's no real big cost associated with go to except for player time, which is tedium. And that sucks. So yeah, we could reduce go to. That would be half of it. And then yeah, as Phenom says, we could make allies smarter. The thing is, I don't want to make them too smart because if you have a lot of, as you can see now, even with our allies now, they're pretty good. Um, they're able to deal with a lot of problems. Just, I mean, they're popcorn, yeah, and they're able to. But they're able to. You can do a lot with them by. I mean, once you have our riff abilities here, we don't even get alert from them killing stuff. If they, if we make allies too smart. Um, it becomes, uh, the game becomes too easy. They're, they're basically winning the game for you. Um, and you don't have to do almost anything. So we don't want to make them too smart. Uh, behave more defensively. So yeah, I take a, I'll, I'm certainly could take feedback on how to, uh, maybe a new ally command. Like, uh, I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't, I don't know how many, how many people are often using a lot of the other commands like guard and aid are actually kind of useful. Um, Right now, actually, there's no there's uh, no tool tips for these, so you can't like right click on them and see exactly what their behavior is. That's actually something that could be added and improved on. This is actually part of the the drone overhaul update I was talking about on um, on Patreon. Uh, everyone voted, and that was actually I think the second highest um, feature that people wanted was a drone overhaul. And part of the drone overhaul was to remove tedium and that's where the whole remove go to idea comes from is make drones basically a little smarter or at least uh move the go to command so you can't control them specifically uh, but then i would also perhaps also make it so that they don't run randomly from enemies i don't know the thing is that would be too effective but anyway we're going into a lot of design discussion this could take a long time to uh to go through um so uh, i don't know about that uh, bad emperor set aggression mode yeah make it I wouldn't want to do it on a per ally basis though, because that would that would again introduce tedium. You could do it on like an all allies basis. Like here are our here's our current general idea is uh, our current strategy for all our allies is defensive or offensive. But yeah, as a general order, that's an idea. Um, it could could be interesting. I have to think about the other repercussions. But anyway, um, yeah, unaware. Well, they're not unaware when they're on your side necessarily. AI, we're talking about only allied AI, not the enemies. <laughs> um, but even like, I mean, the thing is your allies, they die fast anyway. I mean, most of them die within a few hits. Um, so making them, you know, putting too much effort into making them really good also seems kind of like a waste. <laughs> Cogmine implements emotions in his allies. <laughs> yeah, grunts go fast. As centuries last longer... Hunters can be good because they're hard to hit. We, we have already lost our hunter, unfortunately. Anyway, let's get back to this run here. Um, there's freaking four hunters here. These All four of them know we're here. Uh, oh, we have our hunter right here. Okay. We have one hunter and a grunt, and both of them are almost dead, and the enemies, I don't know what they are. They're probably in good shape, though. Anyway, oh, we can't hack these two. I've already tried that. Um, they were in visual range for a little while, so. These have not yet come into visual range, so we could theoretically auto-hack them. Looks like I'm going to have to do this the hard way. I don't think there's any engineer in that room. Um, oh, shoot. What? That's what we're missing. Seriously? Oh, 
finally found out what's gone. We lost the Sigix broadsword. Oh, crap. They stole it and probably put it in this machine over here. I was just about to put on the broadsword. They stole the broadsword. I was like, I must be missing something. They stole something. Oh my God, that's pretty hilarious. Also not hilarious. They stole the broadsword. I hope it's even still there. It's possibly still there. It might be inside this machine. I'm guessing that's where they took it. <laughs> oh man, that, that recycler just earned a promotion. <laughs> Oh my, oh, really? Oh, Tone, you had your super battery and supersonic drone base stolen. Oh my gosh. Oh, I can't believe that. That's what was stolen. I knew something got stolen. And I thought it was, I thought they ran off with our, uh, the battery. And so I didn't really care too much about it. But they stole the friggin' broadsword. Crap, I was just about to use it right now. Oh well, it's gonna be a ways off. Shoot, that would have been, it would be a perfect thing to pick up right now. I was going to use the broadsword and chop through the wall and, and then just chop up these hunters. Now this became a little more complicated. I guess I could use the core stripper. Uh, that sucks. At least you still have the lance. Oh, you use ignore parts a lot with Riff? Yeah, I, I was. I don't know. I, I didn't even notice the recyclers were approaching. That was me being stupid. All right. Shoot. All right, now there's a sentry coming. Oh, nice. Our, our dude's just like beating the crap out of him. Uh, oh no, the second one is still in great shape. We have a sentry company in a second here. It'd be nice if he got auto-hacked. didn't work we don't have enough power to run it oh wait I could no I can't drop it there's a freaking leg on the ground I could pick up the leg and drop the power just to get another chance at him maybe I should just use the the gauss just mainly because it's sitting in inventory not doing anything it's taking up two slots and it's getting late game. SD time. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's that's true. You know, I'm uh, set the recyclers to reject if you're close. That's a good idea. All right, I can't use the core stripper. Um, our phase armor will hold them off for the most part. And it looks like we're not going to get to hack that sentry either. Wait, what was I going to do? I forgot what I was going to do. Oh, the gauss, right. Gauss is going to beat the crap out of this guy. Oh, sh shoot. That actually counts. Okay, stepped in the wrong spot. Lost a grunt coupler. Lost our graviton reactor? Wow, okay. Yeah, I didn't realize, I didn't think of that. The Gauss rifle can de technically cause a cave-in, which is not a bug. This is this is correct and true. I was just being dumb. All right. Um, what else can I swap in here? Not much, actually. Uh, I don't have any more. Hmm.
Yeah, the gauss shoots during our movement. The rain meter, so technically we could move and gain a little bit of dodge, barely, because we're moving. But the problem is, and it wouldn't, I don't think it affects the gauss. Tar oh, the gauss has better, is really good targeting. It has a plus 30%. So it's really good while you're moving. Um, of course, right now we're having to face multiple enemies, and I was trying to use the walls to block their fire. Because right now we're blocking hits. I think the walls are blocking the terminators, but not the sentry. Ouch. Oh, you know what we need to do is descent is run up to the garrison right now. All right, die, dude. All right, he's dead. Oh, good, he dropped some heavy armor. I actually want that. Pick up some heavy armor real quick and get the hell into this room. I don't have a signal interpreter. If we had a signal interpreter, we can actually tell how long it's going to be until this thing spits out on the sentry. Well, it's shut down now. Okay, the gas just broke. Oh, uh, Garrison's the best option. You know, I was thinking, uh, I'm just, I think we're okay to stay on the same floor, so I didn't actually go into the Garrison. Welcome, League of Terraria. Uh, oh, fine step. You're asking if the Gauss maintains its rate of fire. Yeah, that was the number that was appearing next to the Gauss. Is how often it fires. It fires every uh, every turn. Uh, it has its own firing time. It doesn't have anything to do with you. If the Gauss is its own entity, it's doing its own thing. So, it fires every turn, regardless of what you do. It's it's truly autonomous. The autonomous weapon system. AWS. All right, let's see. Quarter reactor. These two hunters are really annoying. I can. Act, I should probably hack them. I mean, that's we've got hacking for a reason, right? Okay, then we finally get rid of the Gauss. We don't need that anymore. Um, our phase armor is almost gone. That's actually not cool. Can we empty a garrison below act below negative one? I'm not sure what you mean by that, you know. Oh, I forgot we could also teleport. If we wanted to leave, we could just teleport away from here. Um, like, have it use all of its squads. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah. Now, the way garrisons work is, yeah, when you um, they start dispatching, uh, this was a response to, there's a re dispatching reinforcements. Since it'll keep dispatching reinforcements. If you have a signal interpreter, you can actually see the number of the countdown towards its next dispatch and then the next one arrives and it'll it'll arrive a few and then it stops sending reinforcements but it doesn't actually run out ever it'll eventually it later on it'll they'll what they'll do is they'll um they'll, re, they'll do what's called redeploying you can use a signal interpreter to see these things and it'll say it's redeploying and uh once it's done redeploying then it might start sending reinforcements again if there's more combat going on but otherwise it won't so all right, let's see. These guys are both hurt already. Too bad they're not dead. Could use the Tesla bomb on them. Influence 47 low. We could use the Tesla bomb, or my other idea was, I mean, we could just smash and grab. We can attack the garrison, take its couplers, and then just teleport away. Um, Kind of annoying. Oh, that's right. We can't use the Tesla bomb unless we also have more power. We'd have to drop the battery for that. Oh, the way with quantum reactor, which is pretty good. Yeah, let's just Tesla bomb these guys. Oh, check that out. 
No, I didn't realize it would also do this. It's a friggin' sentry coupler over there. Ugh. Whatever. Too bad. Sentry coupler is now gone. I haven't needed, definitely needed one of those too. Whatever. The deed is done. We are now pretty corrupted. That actually kind of not cool. <laughs> Need to get rid of some of this. Anyway, yeah, I should have taken, I, I it could have chopped this piece out and made the couplers appear here and then stepped over there. That would have been a smarter probably way. I was thinking about doing that. Oh well, didn't do it though. So it doesn't count. Guess we'll keep our data jack on. Okay, so our friggin' broadsword is way back up here, maybe. And it's only even a maybe. Might be just gone. There's another behemoth. That's the third behemoth on this floor. That's pretty unusual. We've already come across three behemoths on this floor. There's one right here. I was going to head north and go along this way, but wow. Third behemoth. All right, I'm going to go all the way back. We have no friends anymore. All gone. Everyone. All dead. Hey, wait, there's a broadsword sitting right here. What the? When did I drop that? <laughs> I dropped it on the ground and it's sitting out here in the open. And there goes the recycler and uh, hello broadsword, we meet again. <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny. Jeez, I could have used that a second ago. It would have been nicer than the solution I had there. Um, well, if I was going to teleport away NXG, I wouldn't have even bothered with the coupler. I would have just left it there. Uh, corruption. Maybe if, they, if there were enemies around, maybe I... No, it wouldn't... I don't think it was corruption, though. It's possible, but I don't think it... Uh, I don't think that's what that was because... Um, well, it would stop me from moving for one, and I don't think I had a broadsword attached just running around. Anyway, that was very weird um, to find it sitting here in the open. I'm glad we walked this way. It wasn't very far. All right, time to continue exploring. And we've now taken down two garrisons. Unfortunately, I didn't get the couplers from that garrison. I really wanted them. Somebody dropped their advanced targeting computer. These recyclers are just really, really busy. And I guess we don't need that heavy armor on anymore. We'll just leave it on for now, but okay. Our build is kind of weird now. We don't have friends. Didn't get to snowball. Dude, get out of the way. He's just sitting here. What are you doing? Fine, I'll go the other way. Oh, nasty segregator. It's probably a row of them. That's my guess. Oh, look. We just lost our graviton reactor, but there's like four more in here. <laughs> and a micro nuke. I think ours is in. Actually, ours is damaged. Okay, then. I'm going to need some new armor soon. Uh, what floor did we riff? Yeah, we definitely riffed on uh, the first availability, available uh, depth on materials. So we've got a we've got structural interface, though. I kind of wanted something else at this point for our last ability. All right, there's a bunch of swarmers.
Let's make some friends. Kind of want some other single slot armor. What's this dude carrying? Let's find out what this guy's carrying. Tell me what you've got. Oh, great. His whole inventory is... Oh, it's one of the new items. This is a new Beta 9 item. The launcher loader. <laughs> Reduces firing time for any launcher by 50%. So basically it allows you to be insanely fast with your launcher firing. So, yeah. New item. There aren't a whole lot of new items in uh, Beta 9. Not yet anyway. I don't know if there will be. Probably won't, but there's uh, just a few. This is one of them. So, yes. Gamma Bomb Array with a <laughs> launcher loader, yeah. <laughs> or Teslas, exactly. We have one right now. We get the Tesla. Just like firing endless Teslas. But I don't really need it for this build. But it would make a launcher build very good. Oh, a launcher build, like a literally focus on launchers with that and like a Tesla would just be insane. Even multiple Teslas, you could just like swim through high security with that. It would be pretty cool. Anyway, it is two slots though. Uh, and you call it a nerfed Q cap, but it's not because the Q cap is also two slots now. <laughs> I, I rearranged all that stuff. I, I redid the Q cap, uh, the uh, quantum capacitor. I redid the uh, psych weapon cyclers, and also added the launcher loader. Basically, revisited that mechanic. All right, I don't. All right, actually, we can hack these guys from afar they, before they can see us. Yeah. Unfortunately, that means they'll kill each other, or we just hack every single one of them. I guess this is one of the disadvantages. Oh, there's a whole second squad over there. That's pretty funny. Shoot. <laughs> We're just hacking every single one as we move forward. It would have been really nice to have all of them on our side, but anyway. Oh, there's programmers over there. Hmm. Oh, I guess they're gonna die. <laughs> there's only one left. They just kept killing each other. Auto hacking doesn't actually use up your couplers, bad emperor. But that's actually a good idea. It could be used to balance that ability if we wanted to keep the percentage high. That's interesting. What if we could say you could auto hack them and like use uh, it uses just almost none of the coupler value, just like one or two each time? But eh, it's probably not worth it. It would just be unnecessarily complicated. And I'm already balanced, rebalanced it anyway. So <laughs> you got three turrets and deployed them during the exile attack. Oh god, <laughs> that's pretty funny. <laughs> that's a good one, Venom. I haven't actually used the. Uh, the uh, tur sentry turrets before. They, they're really powerful, though. All right, so we know there's programmers to the northeast. Finally, this is like the first terminal. Oh my god, it's here at level three. Uh, well, I guess we're not going to get anything done here. Shoot. All right, we can try to put on a botnet for later. 9%. Oh well, too bad. Uh, advanced data jack, another battery. Hey, we could replace our damaged battery. Those programmers are still to the north. Hope we don't run into them. Another terminal, this one's awfully big. Please, nothing open the door to the north. Also, security level three. Thank you. At least we got a little botnet off on it. Garrison index, recycling unit index. Influence is low.
Uh, just checking out the manifest, see if there's anything else maybe worth taking off of, of a conveyor here. Wow, one of these conveyors is carrying four helical rail guns. That would be awesome for a gunslinger build. Four helical rail guns. And what else? Two centrium legs. Nothing else though. Nothing we need either. Use deploy a sentries on bronze. So evil. Uh, would suck. I don't know. NXG, I don't know how you'd consider wasting your couplers because you get a bunch of allies. I mean, yeah, I don't really like it in the long, as an idea anyway, as uh, it's not necessary, but it's kind of interesting to think about. I don't think it would really work um, given what we've got so far. What is this? Ah, oh, an improved energy well. Oh, that's even better than our batteries. I'm gonna drop the batteries, pull off the energy well, leave it in inventory. I kinda want to get, all right, let's see what else can we do. All we have is one little plague friend. <laughs> I kinda wanna use a node initializer. That would be kind of a neat way to take out the programmers because I've been trying to do that this whole run. Uh, well, not the whole run, but I've just got them. And I keep thinking of them, um, but I haven't actually done it yet. I'm getting close to the, a dead end here. Yeah, there's an exit. And a hidden door. We're not taking that exit, though. We want to take either a branch or a garrison. Whoa, whoops, I accidentally realized, didn't realize I was, had my alt key down. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, it's gonna keep moving. Oh shoot, there they are. <laughs> uh, actually, it's probably not a bad thing that they're here. Unless there's a bunch of other doors to get here. All right, they took out our friend, but we are now equipped with nano actuators and the Sysix broadsword. Yeah. All right, he's dead. The other one is coming around the other way. I'm going to wait right here. Gotcha. Okay, he's dead. Oh, I love the broadsword. Gonna need some other armor though, otherwise we're gonna lose the broadsword really fast uh, when we have to use it next. Uh, we do not know where the branches are. We only know about this one exit right here. Uh, we know what it is though, testing. It won't be hard to find either, I'm sure we'll get it. Wonder where those other programmers went. They're probably not anywhere nearby here anymore though. They were over here a second ago. Those programmers were here fighting the, our, all of our um, swarmer friends. Uh oh, we can't go north without being spotted. I don't really want to say hi to a sentry unless we have to because we don't have another coupler. I'd love to take him over, but we only have that one uh, seven value uh, sentry coupler left, which we've been using for quite a long time. Hmm. Oh, there's a room there. Well, might be able to get through down here. There we go. Shock trap. Huh, interesting. Don't really want to get shocked. We have 12% corruption. Shoot, there they are. Programmers are right here. <laughs> I 
Um, oh, should I have it turned off? I don't know. Why, why bother? Uh, I don't think we really need to turn phase armor off. It's damaging our core. How much core do we really need? Hey, Desinim, yes, we did get we did get the broadsword back. You didn't see how we got it back? It was pretty amazing. I'm glad we have it back, too. All right. Damn, all right. I don't really want to face off against programmers, but we get to go east. There's probably a way to go east and around. Just got to face a sentry to do it. Oh, S7. Who said we're going there? <laughs> oh shoot. Okay, now we've been spotted. Uh shoot. I can hope to kill them in like one hit. Oh, okay, or this guy's gonna show up and make this problematic. Oh my there's two separate squads of programmers. <laughs> <laughs> now I want to go up here and fight them, but that means having the sentry at the back. Shoot. This is getting complicated. I'm completely surrounded. Uh, phase armor is going to go in a second anyway. Uh, this is bad. We do have Centrium plating to replace it. Not going to cover quite as much, or not anywhere nearly as much. Hmm. Could teleport out. Yeah, actually, I was thinking about that exactly as you typed it, Bad Emperor. I was thinking about it. We could teleport out. I was also thinking of using the again the slip node to like destroy all of them. That would be cool. I still want to do that, but this is a really bad setup because we're completely surrounded. And I'm just gonna teleport out. Make up some more inventory space. Use several teleporters. Where the hell are we? Wow. <laughs> okay. There we were. We were down there. Now we're here. <laughs> Oh, nice room. <laughs> um, it's EM. I won't destroy them. What uh, EM? The uh, I'm referring to the slip node explosion. That's not EM. That's like thermal. It's like an insanely powerful thermal explosion. Get them crushing walls. Hmm. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm pretty sure it's thermal. I don't think it's a uh, EM. I don't. I haven't actually done it before, but okay. Well, we made it out of there, and now we're off in this interesting room. <laughs> oh, we found a garrison. Oh my god. <laughs> we found a garrison next to literally the fourth behemoth at this depth. Oh my god, that's crazy. We could actually get the behemoth to destroy the garrison if we wanted to. I think he's powerful enough to do it, right? He's got a Nova cannon. He could actually blow up the garrison. If I step over here, he'll destroy the garrison and drop all the couplers. Yeah, behemoths shoot through machines. They don't care. So this is the fourth garrison, though. Or the third. There's only one more garrison on this floor at all. Hmm. I kind of like that idea. And then we get the couplers from it, but... Hmm. Why aren't machines opaque? Oh, well, I mean, they're... You can think of them as, uh, like, a bunch of... You know, there's holes to see through them. They're not necessarily completely solid, or you can see over them in some of parts of them, things like that. They're, uh, you can see sort of through it. So they're not completely opaque. They do block partial vision, I mean, as you know. They partially block vision instead of completely. 
I mean, that's how you can think of it logically. And obviously, from a gameplay standpoint, having machines be opaque would be extremely tedious. If you can think of the uh, consequences of that, uh, like exploring rooms and exploring areas where there's machines all over the place, there would be so many things you couldn't see until you walked around everywhere. Uh, it would be very annoying. So anyway, but that's one of the main reasons was also that also, uh, you know, I wanted to be more strategic. They lower your, they reduce your visual range, but they don't actually uh, completely block it. This makes it much more interesting strategically. All right. So I think maybe getting him to blow up the garrison would be effective. Well, no, it's going to drop the same as if we did it, but there's not really another option anyway. We could run away and just not fool with him, or we could run in and grab, grab the couplers that drop and then run away. Uh, bug sniper, that's handled by their, uh, their memory calculations. It doesn't have to do with the part. They're not seeing you. It's just a part of their AI. We have a lot of parts that I can drop to um, in inventory now. Well, I shouldn't say necessarily a lot, but there are several. <laughs> I've been carrying them around. We still have the Gauss, which I'm not going to repair. I'm just going to get rid of it, I think, at this point. Hmm. Core stripper. Eh. Actually, we do have an energy well. Maybe we could charge the behemoth and just kill him. I think that might be a bad idea because our armor is running low, though. All right, let's do the bad idea. We also have the Sigix broadsword, which is going to help block some shots for a little while. Oh, okay, that was a bad idea. I didn't realize that when he did it, it would also dispatch the assault. <laughs> oh, damn. Um, hmm. Well, the good thing is this means there aren't a lot of programmer dispatches because three garrisons are down. But um, the bad thing is it means now there's an assault headed this way. Um, yeah, he destroyed it, and so it's still coming. <laughs> I, I thought uh, maybe if he did it, it wouldn't count. But yeah, that's uh, that makes sense. It makes sense. Huh. Um, but wait a minute. It didn't drop any couplers at all. Why didn't it drop any couplers? Was it, maybe it was empty. Maybe it didn't have any couplers. That seems unusual, though. I wonder why. I expected to get the couplers. That's crappy. <laughs> I mean, now there's no reason to really charge him. Now I'm just going to run away. <laughs> and he's going to blast the, the walls to pieces now. Maybe the cup, all the couplers were destroyed in the process. That's true, Johnson. Teleporting again. I don't think we need to teleport again. Phase armor is finally gone. Hmm. He's completely obliterating all the walls. Uh, we're faster than he is. I kind of want to go into the hallway, but then I need to go north. There we go. All right, there's an eye. Oh, we're back in range again. Yeah, I just wasted some turns here. <laughs> All right, let's put the broadsword back on. And it's not going to stay on for long. All 
Um, yeah, so what is this strategy? I don't know. My idea here was to hack the Watcher and tell him to run to the south, maybe to get the Behemoth to, like, chase him instead of us. <laughs> um, because we're not even firing at the Behemoth, so he doesn't really have a reason to attack us. Uh, maybe when the Watcher goes by him, he'll start attacking the Watcher. Uh, why can't you hack assimilated allies? Well, assimilated allies aren't connected to Rift anymore. They're not connected to the uh, uh, to the uh, relay interface. You can only attack. You can only hack bots that are connected to the interface. Oh, there's a fusion bomb in here. That's better than the nuke. I'm gonna grab that. We're getting pretty corrupted. Here's an advanced weapon cycler. All right, there's some grunts. Should make some friends with the grunts. See that behemoth is gone now. He's chasing our friend because our friend got closer. All right, let's put on another grunt coupler. Make some friends. Whoa, okay. Uh, this might be a bad idea. I'm putting on a nuke launcher just to block shots. <laughs> we haven't had a misfire in a while. Oh shoot, here comes the behemoth. Probably need to leave this area. <laughs> nice dude, now let's get out of here. <laughs> There's a behemoth on the way. Um, all right, let's find out what this dude knows. Tell us everything you know. Soonish. Oh, look at that. This is, this might be an exit to, uh, testing. There's an exit right here next to us. Hmm. I feel like we're running low on good couplers you need, but looks like that could be testing. Oh, the only way to know, we need to find out. Uh, oh, there's another exit. Oh, well, check it out. He found two exits. Huh. Hacking suite. Improved energy well. Already have one of those. Hmm. Might want to get energy mantle. Actually, that's an interesting idea. Yeah, with an energy mantle and energy wells and with an allies, that's really good. That's a good point. Yeah, I do like that idea. It's Unfortunately, it's a regular energy mantle, but I mean, it's still high rating. That would be good. Um, hmm. Well, I kind of want to find out where these exits lead, exits lead, but I think we probably should wait for that real quick. Wait, what? Oh, I'm missing something else. Oh, shoot. We are missing something else. How many things did I freaking drop on accident? We're missing the... I lost the uh, the enhanced... Uh, uh, lance? It wasn't a lance. What was it? I lost the other melee weapon. Shoot. That's like the way we're getting through walls and stuff. Where the hell did that go? 
<laughs> this inventory is getting kind of out of hand. <laughs> yeah. Oh, now I remember it. I did drop it. I intentionally dropped it. I just forgot to pick it up again. Shoot. Yeah, my bad. I dropped it down here. I don't even remember where. I dropped it intentionally. Um, but I didn't mean to drop it permanently. I meant to pick it up again. I dropped it because I needed to swap in something. I don't even know where it is anymore. It was a while ago. Oh, there it is. Right here. Enhanced Force Lance. That's what it was. Yeah, it was a lance. Crap. I forgot to pick it up again, that's all. My bad. I'm just stupid. Uh, that's actually really important. I need that. No, no multi slot swapping. <laughs> In the end, I'm just, people are going to ask for that for years, and I'm just going to keep saying no for years. I really don't like to have the nuke on. Oh shoot, I hacked the wrong dude. <laughs> Me not noticing there's a dude in the way. Sorry there, Mr. Worker. Oh no, now there's a programmer coming. Oh, I wish this was a mechanic. I keep thinking this might be a mechanic. Uh, mm. Great. Now I got two programmers to deal with. So many programmers. And they're not even dispatched against us, so just annoying programmers. Here's time for some overkill. Maybe overkill, maybe not overkill. Yeah, you waste your time there. <laughs> Our influence just <laughs> took a giant jump. <laughs> We're now up to 1H. <laughs> but we got all the swarmers and one of the programmers. And everyone's dead. That was nice. All right, now I need to not raise the alert quite much more. Uh, let's see, let's go grab, I need a matter, I need a lot of stuff. Yeah, we do need some armor. Uh, where is armor? There is no armor. I don't see any armor. Uh, I've been needing armor for a while, ever since we lost. The phase armor was really good. It was extremely effective for a while. But uh, um, let's see, there's weapon shielding up there. I was going to grab the mantle in the room to the west, and what we really need is matter. Oh, it's a mic another micro nuke. Oh, shoot. There's an ARC in there. Looks like it's going. Uh, that door opened. I think the ARC might come in going south. What is this guy doing? I told him to stay, and now he's running north. Why is he running north? No, I didn't plan on raiding S7, Bad Emperor. I don't know why you think I'm going to do that. <laughs> All right, I think the ARC is gone now. I think. <laughs> There's no, this thing is not rating at seven. Yeah, this is a bot hacker run. There's some things that were, yeah, I'm mainly testing out bot hacking. So, I don't know. All right, that ARC is gone.
I don't think it's worth messing with the conveyor. There's not going to be anything in there. Okay, we now have an energy mantle. Which we should probably couple with some more power. We're kind of full on slots at the moment, but... Alright, that's exit guarded. Okay, um... Uh, took off the mantle specifically because I want to hack all these guys. All of these guys. Oh, our matter is dangerously low. Okay, solve that problem. Now we can put back on the mantle. And we have a small army again. Um, a storage with an energy well. Ah, yeah, we don't need all the storage anymore. So, good point. We can now pull off uh, one of these storage units. And uh, I still also need a drop. Where's that gun? <laughs> The gal, so I'm not going to repair that. Get rid of that. And pull off the storage unit. And we can now have an energy well. Actually, where'd that other energy well go? It's to the southeast. I should grab a second energy well. Uh oh. That eye is going to report us. Great. I didn't really want to lose everyone to a couple hunters. <laughs> Come on, hunters, join me and you'll get a free shield. They're like, we don't care, we're going to annihilate your army. Actually, you know what we could do? Spike heat. <laughs> he just died from overheating. <laughs> Yeah, they're really hot because they're getting shot by grunts. I'm going to pick up some matter while everyone's killing each other. That's over with. Spike heat can work really well when you've got grunt friends. Because grunts, uh, sustained grunt fire against resilient enemies will definitely still raise their heat. So uh, just do a spike heat on top of that and they'll probably just die. Alrighty. Yeah, we did run out of energy there. Um, hey, Phenom. Yeah, Phenom's asking, if you set a machinist to aid Cogmind, will it also repair any blue allies? And uh, I think the answer to that is yes. I'm pretty sure. I mean, you can try it out. <laughs> but yeah, I don't think you ha you don't have to tell them to specifically aid each and every enemy, I think. Or each and every ally, sorry. Each and every bot. If you just aid yourself, I think what they do is that it prioritizes you, and if you don't need anything that they can apply, supply you with, they will heal your allies instead. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. I haven't actually used one of them to do that before. Uh, Sizzix Broadsword plus Weapon Shielding, that seems like a bad idea because we don't even have armor. So, I mean, it's going to go away really quick. Oh, you were looking at these earlier. I didn't notice. Yeah, yeah, there's Weapon Shielding. I was thinking about it a couple times, but... Uh, it's not really going to do anything. I mean, the broadsword will already take all damage when, when we get attacked. Um, that's actually a problem because it'll just get destroyed really quickly. Anyway, um, so I was thinking of going down and grabbing another energy well. Whew. Okay. <laughs> Pull that off for now. I was like, who did I just kill with that? <laughs> All right, what else are we dropping here? Uh, drop this old large storage unit. Don't need that anymore. Okay, now where are we going? We're trying to figure out... All right, was, there's our watcher here earlier. Mm, doesn't look like it was destroyed and dropped its stuff. I wanted to see if there's a signal interpreter and we can see what an exit leads, but... So yeah, we're getting kind of low on core. Uh, what does everyone else think? Should we go through a garrison or go into testing? 
If we go into testing, the whole point though then is to go into a garrison in testing. I think we should go find the last garrison and use that instead on this floor. I think that's actually the smarter route. Um, because I want another riff ability too. And if we go into testing, our core is probably going to be brought so low that we can't use the garrison in testing by the time we get there. I mean, it's possible we could, but it's pretty risky. And then we don't get another ability. Now, we already screwed up once or twice so far this run and lost some abilities. There's only one garrison left, though. So it's And it's on the entire floor. It could be hard to find. We might have to hack for it. Actually, no, there's another way. Can't we... We can hack a combat bot to find the nearest garrison. All right, let's do that. There's a sentries over here. Let's go hack some sentries and ask where the garrison is. Unfortunately, where's a good way to do that? I want to do it where our friends can also help. We're also pretty corrupted. There's a heavy proton missile launcher in there. Hmm. Okay, he's inside here. Um, oh, how many, how, I wonder how many coupler value that takes. It's got to be less than seven, though. Uh, oh, never mind. We just friggin' hacked him. <laughs> okay, never mind. We have a sentry friend. Everyone meet the new sentry. Back. Uh, do I want to build something? Or probably don't really need to build anything. Anything being high capacity storage. All right, so the quest is still on. I guess we'll have to go to the sentry to the north. There's yet another sentry over there. This dude's now sitting in my way. Oh god, now he's coming. Okay, everybody just wait here for a second. Shoot. Alright, this is not going to be good. Damn it, I really wish I had that, my melee weapon right now. I need another one. Ho ho, Centrium Wheel! I chopped a hole in the wall so that our friends can uh, attack from two sides. Ouch. All right, find a garrison. Oh, whoa, what? Oh, is that? Is there a range on that? I don't think there is. I'm actually going to check the <laughs> description here. Um, no, man, no way. There isn't a fourth garrison. There is no garrison. They're all gone. There were only three on this floor. Crap. Oh, that also, that doesn't take any coupler value? Oh, it doesn't take coupler value because there wasn't one on the memory? Oh, okay. Hmm. This is disappointing. There's no garrison. There's a sentry and wheel, though. I guess I'm happy about the sentry and wheel. Not happy about the other stuff. Sad. There's beat up heavy armor. Crap, so we don't have a choice. We have to go into the branch. Uh, okay, well I guess uh, the idea is this is almost certainly a branch, but we've gotta be sure of it. I don't wanna go into the next floor. Otherwise, I want to go up to the next depth. Centrium Greatsword, Enhanced Nova Cannon. Ours is damaged. Centrium Greatsword, uh, I need a single slot weapon, not a double slot weapon. Oops. I keep, I was moving because I was doing the wrong thing. We already have Broadsword, which is better than that. Oh, shoot. Come on. Somebody went out the other door and got their face blown off. <laughs> Uh, not gonna bother. Leave him over there.
More grunts. I'm gonna go take them as friends. Okay, here's a watcher. Let's take out this watcher and get his um signal interpreter. Well, it was a nice shot. Surprised we haven't hit a lot of traps. Oh, there's another one. Oh, shoot. I wish everyone was here instead of chasing watchers. <laughs> Where is everyone? There's like... Only the sentry is here. Everyone else ran off. Our only good weapon that I can use here is a Nova Cannon, but that will drain our energy a lot. And it's probably worth firing a couple times, though. Um, because we need the energy for our shields. Okay, or we just kill him in one hit. And there's two more. Or, oh, never mind. There's one more. Sorry. Oh, our energy is actually doing quite well. It's nice having this energy. Hmm. Oh, well, he finally died, but he didn't drop anything. I think everyone else died. Oh, yeah. Watcher, not a programmer. I was just see. I just assumed there was going to be another programmer. Uh, so I just saw a yellow blob and said, oh, it's another thing. Anyway. Yeah. Um... Well, this room got annihilated. Everyone's dead in here. Somebody dropped some decently not entirely gone heavy armor. Oh, more grunts. I love grunt squads because I can just put on a bunch of grunt couplers and make them friendly. Hey, he just picked up... Dude. Yeah, I was going to pick up that armor. Of course, I have to drop something. I think I'm going to get rid of the hacking, hacking suite because I'm just never using it. Forget hackware. Probably there's other stuff I could drop too, but... My hat with three duelist couplers. I think let's go with swapping in one. Get rid of, getting rid of any other ones. Now we got two free slots. Get a little bit of heavy armor, just in case. Hmm. All we have now is a sentry, but and that might change in a moment. Unknown processor. Ooh, high capacity storage unit. Uh, unknown processor. I wonder what that is. I wonder if it's a signal interpreter just sitting around. Should probably find out. Target analyzer. Okay, we're gonna upgrade our weakest storage. And we've got two new grunt friends. <laughs> April Fool's, Fool's mode balanced around or based around corruption. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so many fun stuff, so many fun things we could do for those modes. Finally, another 
Ter terminal, let's see. Uh, it sucks, there's no uh, more garrisons. All right, so we gotta find the exit. Oh, actually now I could use that hackware. <laughs> if we're just gonna use it up anyway. Oh, check it out. Direct hack. Check it out. First try. All right. Branch. We found it. It looks like it's those two I just saw. They're both testing. All righty. I guess that's where we're going. Oh, it's not those two. It's one of them. Oh, one of them is not. Okay. This one would have taken us to the next depth. This one is testing and there's another testing right around the corner. Uh, I don't really want to go to testing. I wanted to go to a garrison. That sucks. Oh, well, we can go to a garrison in testing. Also, it's kind of unfortunate we do not have a one single slot melee weapon. There's a recalibrator. Ha! Huh, an advanced recalibrator. Could have used that to fix the gauss just for the hell of it. You know, I keep saying I wasn't going to fix it, but... Okay, let's go this way. I went that way so we can avoid this other sentry. Even though technically we might get lucky and hack him, but I wouldn't want to count on that. It's only 30%. Zero percent. Damn. Oh man. I hope they don't come out of the door right here. Or the exit. Oh, okay. Then there's a lot of places they could come from, so. Alright, well they finally showed up. I guess we're leaving then. Uh mini garrison in testing and quarantine should have couplers. Ooh, they're well, they're not, they're ca I call them mini garrisons, but they're really just like security checkpoints. I don't, I don't think we need another way to make Rift powerful. It's already powerful. Uh, you don't think programmers can come out of there? Well, they can come out of there. Um, right to a garrison where, Destinim? There's no garrisons left on this floor. They're all gone. We destroyed three of them and there's, that's all there was. That's why we have no choice but to go into testing. So we're going to testing. And here we go. I'm going to find a garrison in testing. Hopefully it's not too hard. Boom, here's the entrance. Alrighty. I like seeing grunts. Not specialists, grunts. <laughs> Last time we entered a research branch, yeah, it was problematic. Okay, nice. All right, well, so the first goal is to find, a, I mean, I want to find the garrison really and just head out of the garrison here. Um, and use our other hacks. Let's see, we've got a lot of stuff. We've got enough NC hacks left. We can do some good stuff. All right, demolishers, nice. Okay. That's going to be it for today, though. It's about time to wrap up the stream here. And we're, we've got it to the point where basically the next run, the next stream will be the end of this run. Um, there's only like, uh, I guess, this floor and maybe a garrison and uh, access. There's maybe command. I don't know. But at least access, of course. We'll have to see what access looks like. And where this run takes us. But um, so far, I'm liking it. Um, some pretty interesting things going on. Um, but yeah, that'll be next week. Uh, what else is going on? Uh, oh yeah. So in another hour or two, uh, you can expect, um, uh, beta nine X three, the third free release will be out on Patreon. Um, and there's actually later this week, there's going to be wizard mode out for beta nine. 
uh, with some new features as well. Uh, not a whole ton of new features, but at least it'll be applicable to beta nine and it has some, I added some extra stuff. So anyway, um, yeah, so, uh, I will continue this, uh, at the normal time, uh, next week. And that will be my last stream before, um, I'll be gone the week after that. I'll be leaving for, uh, a vacation um, so I won't be able to do streaming for the next like month after that. Cause I'll be out or working on, and I'll still be working on Cogmind intermittently, even while on vacation and stuff. And so I'll be around, but I just won't be able to stream cause I won't be at home with my normal, uh, streaming setup and whatnot. So yeah, I'll be away from after this will be the last run. Then when I get back, uh, I don't know if I'll be streaming again right away. I'll probably be, uh, I might want to just be work, put, getting my head down and working as fast as possible on beta nine, the official release. Cause it's taken forever, but there's a lot of stuff to do. Even after I get back from vacation, there's still going to be a ton left. Um, I got a lot of, a lot of things. It also depends on how the leaderboard thing goes and that's going to be determined this week and next. So, um, yeah, cause this week I still got another couple weeks to go before we leave. So there's still a lot of stuff to do before then. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'll talk more about that uh, next time. But uh, yeah, I do have other plans for what I'll be streaming when I get back. Uh, gonna get back into some combat stuff, I believe. So anyway, yeah, thanks for uh, uh, showing up, everyone. Chat, hey, <laughs> I have Bug Sniper, Naughty. Oh, it's okay, so I hadn't seen you. All right, and uh, Johnson. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll see the final conclusion next week. Uh, until then. <laughs>